What's cracking, you fucking Bush League? Welcome to Sunday League Podcast. You know we can talk trash. If you ain't with it, you can fall back. Welcome to Sunday League Podcast, the podcast. Welcome to Sunday League Podcast, the podcast. Welcome to Sunday League Podcast. You know we can talk trash. If you ain't with it, with it, fall back. Welcome to Sunday League Podcast, the podcast. Welcome to Sunday League Podcast, the podcast. The podcast. The podcast. What's cracking, you fucking bush ears? And welcome back to SLTP, episode 171. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pat, what up? What's up, my friend? How you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. Chilling. Can you introduce our uh, our recurring uh, host? The <laughs> one and only Richard, aka Mr. Marlins Man from up, the guys? Fontana Marlins. What's up, How you Dick? Doing, buddy? What's up, what Dick? Up, what up? Welcome back, dog. <laughs> had to come get my had to come get my dosage of baseball since we didn't get to play today. So. Oof. Yeah. What happened today? Um. So at 9.45, I just got that text from Sam. Hey, the last place team in your league isn't showing up. Mm. Just stay home. <laughs> That's rough. Like, Damn. That sucks, man. You know when you wake up and you're all hype? Like, yes, I'm, I'm going to play baseball today after work, waiting mm. all week to go play baseball, and then you don't get to play baseball. You've been waiting all day to drink, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of drinking, let's go around the horn with our fielders. Choice. What are you drinking? I got a Bohemia that I got out of Boski's fridge. It's almost, it's almost done. <laughs> almost done. Bomb. I'm not even going to try to say it like you just said it, but yeah, I was drinking the same thing. So. Uh, Bo- Bohemia. 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 Yeah, it's kind of okay. like it's kind of like saying, like, I'm drinking the same shit, by the way. Um, it's kind of like saying Bohemian Rhapsody. You only just take the N out. Bohemia. Bohemia. Bohemian. Okay. Easy Bohemian enough. Rhapsody. I just, I just yeah. said it Mexican. Yeah. I wasn't even right. going to try, but okay. Bohem- yeah. Bohemia. Like, there yeah, go. there you go. Real easy. Speaking of Bohemian Rhapsody. I can do that one on karaoke one day. I have to see that one day. I, I, I can do it. I just, I gotta be in the right. That'd be a long mind. one for sure. Yeah. Imagine me up there being like, Scott, I wish <laughs> five minutes, six minutes into the song. Oh, Will you do that one day, though? <laughs> nah, I, I probably, you probably don't want, want me up there, especially if I'm drunk, dude. Like I did, um, I did big balls by ACDC. Uh, and it was terrible. That was uh, the first time we read. Hang dog doing karaoke. Yeah, it was the very last one of the night, and I was trashed. I remember that. Yeah, I that sounded was awesome. I sounded like a witch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've got big balls. Like it was really bad. <laughs> it, it didn't sound like good at all. No, you just no. you were just yelling. Pretty much. Out of Pretty much. Richard, you ever done karaoke? I have. Yeah, I have. Yeah. But I'm super oh. Mexican, so I've done it in Spanish. Oh, uh, what what's your go to? I don't have a go to. That's just like my wife will be like, sing this song and I'll sing that song. Uh huh. What about you, Pat? Um, I don't know. Karaoke's not really my thing, but uh-huh. if I'm drunk enough, I'll go up there. I just haven't. Maybe one of these days, I'm <laughs> at the dog. Give, give He'll you, get me up there. Give you enough shots. Yeah. Yeah, man. We gotta get you some more shots over there. I know. Yeah. Some I don't know. malort. Oh. How'd you like the malort? So last week in last week's episode, um. We took our shots of Malort. We cut it because Pat was ready to throw up. Yeah, dude, um, that was rough. Like, I literally took the shot, and I f- that I don't even remember the last time that's happened to me, but it literally almost came back up. And I, like I, I was shocked. Your wife was like, you guys should have some of that some of that nasty stuff. And that she looked fucking, right at Pat. She was like... Yeah, that fucking poison, dude. <laughs> that shit is disgusting. <laughs> the that shit's funny. Yeah, uh, shout out to DH. Uh, his uh, softball team's doing softball things. Hey, so what's up, DH? Uh, I don't know whether I miss re- you, DH. I don't, yeah, I don't, for real. Um, yeah, we need a we need we need our outline, bro. Um, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they did. I haven't talked to him, so he's been busy. So he's, he's busy. Probably busy ce- day. probably celebrating. How about we just assume he's celebrating? Maybe I hope so. Maybe they just finished the championship. I hope so. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, we do championships here, right? Yes, sir. You know, speaking of championships, uh, Pat, <clears throat> not you, Marlins man. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not do, you, yet. Uh, do you still have the Nava rush, or has it worn off? Winning the uh, we wore it off. I don't know. I, I feel <laughs> like we had such a good time in Arizona. It was weird at first to be back at home, but yeah, yeah I'm just like, damn, I kind of miss Arizona right now. Yeah, you dude. know, just all we had to focus on was baseball and then kicking it with the boys, go get mm-hmm. food and whatever, yeah. but. Um, yeah, to go back to Sunday League Baseball, the normal Sunday League grind, I mean, it's still enjoyable, so it's I'm weird. happy to be back out. Yeah. Even I came back to the Sunday League, man. 
Oof. I, came, I came out and played the same the next week. Was that was which was last weekend? Yeah. Shout out to the Gators. Shout out to the Gators for giving me at bats. Uh, yep, getting, getting you ready for Arizona. Yep, getting me ready for Arizona, <laughs> even after Arizona. You know, getting ready uh, for next year's Arizona. Yep, a whole damn year in advance. How's how's the ankle feeling or the Achilles? Um, it's it's pretty shitty, but it still hurts. Uh, it still hurts, but I'm a little bit more mobile. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually played played the field today. Oh, okay. Big fucking brick wall over there at third. I'm just saying the third <laughs> the third baseman in that game showed out. We played a uh, played the Upland Mets, <laughs> oh, my gosh. fellow champs. Yeah, we <laughs> we we went uh, we went head to head there, and uh, the th- oh, I could say that the third baseman in on both sides showed out. That's what's up. You know, shout yeah. out shout out Tuka did his thing. He's got a fucking cannon. Yeah, he's a dog. Yeah, yeah Tuka's sure. a dog. I got intentionally walked. That must have felt pretty good. It was yeah. Respect. I, ba- I bat flipped it, and then I did the Sammy Sosa. Like like you know how he hops out of the box. No, you yeah. didn't. And then I did like I like I rounded like I was gonna round the bag, but then I just stopped. <laughs> I just stopped on the base. I took off my elbow guard, and it was pretty cool, man. You're a you were, wait, you were wearing an elbow guard in the Sunday leagues? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so uh, DH gifted me a, a, an elbow guard. But we did like a gear exchange. Like I had some shirts, like some samples that I had ordered. Speaking of shirts, uh, take your ass to SLTP. Bigcartel.com. Buy yourself a fucking shirt. Show some support for what we're doing here. Por, por favor. Check out the merch. Please. Check out the merch. We're <laughs> uh, we're releasing them uh, little by little. I mean, I can kind of just release shit. Whenever you want. Whenever. I mean, you know, I could be motivated to. Is a gator sh- shirt in the making? No. <laughs> no. Said no. I, ha- I haven't even. You know, I've thought about like, like, hey, we should probably sit down and come up with something for each team. But like. This isn't just FBL. It's the whole. It's like fifteen plus leagues to really consider, and that's a lot of work. Yeah, for sure. Do. You know, busy man working. OT's about to. Oh, you're, about gonna, be, to you're gonna be busy, bro. Yeah, man. So, th- yeah, work work was uh, kind of busy this week. But uh, how was you guys this week, Richard? Good week, um, all around. Cutting trees, except for Wednesday, I got stung by a shit ton of beans. All right, dude. So you, yeah, so you're in the tree cutting business. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened bro? yeah dude like you get you're in a hospital half the time you're getting stung by bees you fall off trees like i haven't fallen off a tree lately not knock on <laughs> wood yeah that's not wood. knock on mics <laughs> give me that bat. yeah right i got all these wood bats over here no nah, uh, but yeah no nah, basically i was just trimming a tree and i cut the top off of it and you couldn't see in the middle because it was so thick uh, the bees were in the middle hmm. they got Mad at all the noise and stuff. They, got they came mad. out of the middle, just went into my fucking helmet. Oh shit! Yeah, dude, that's wild. So like, well, no wonder you look like that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is my daily face, bro. <laughs> that's <laughs> a terrible face. The swelling has gone, especially bad. with that with that Dodger hat, man. Which we'll, we'll we'll get into that in a little bit. Pat, how's your week, man? You start a new job? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at my new job. Back to Monday through Friday grind, so I could actually enjoy. Because before I was working on Sundays, so I would play my game and then I have to rush over to work. But now I can actually, right. you know, play the game, chill. Um, you know, some days I'll come onto the podcast and mm-hmm. kick it with you guys. So can't complain. Man, Everything's we, been good. Hey man, which we appreciate your time, Richard. We appreciate your time as well, dude. You gotcha. know, you guys are uh, recurring, recurring. Uh, I don't like to say guests because like you guys are kind of like family in a oh, way. Oh, thanks, man. Oh yeah, I mean, that. you know, not that you guys are in any super secret group chats or anything. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so <laughs> yeah, nice. Same work week, bullshit, bunch of lazy fucks at my job. You're gonna get lazy. <laughs> You're gonna get busy as fuck in the next month. Yeah, man. I actually work tomorrow morning. Um, I gotta get up early and go to work. Probably listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> but you got what? Like, are you doing like overtime starting tomorrow? So how many hours do you get overtime? That's just crazy. Uh, just ten hours of overtime. Well, that's not. I mean, yeah. that's usually how our mandatory peak season goes. At the old Target, can you guys please stop shopping at fucking Target during the holidays? <laughs> so I don't have to work <laughs> overtime. Fuck. That's where you get your money for Arizona next year. Man, I just saved a twenty dollar bill for fifty two weeks. Like it more than more than enough. True. It, it would more than more than, more than cover it. Shop yeah. at Walmart, guys. Come on. Go to Walmart. Give, make those <laughs> motherfuckers work, man. <laughs> the, the, are you guys watching anything on, on TV, like with your with your spouses? Um, um, I'm re-watching a Prison Break. Have you seen Prison Break? Prison Break is the shit, dude. dude. Prison was Break was awesome. Yeah. 
We're re- we're rewatching that. Uh, well, I am. My char- wife hasn't seen character's it. Character's name is Michael Schofield. Right? Schofield, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had a crazy ass brother. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a long. I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but if you haven't seen Prison Break, go go check it out. It's mm-hmm. pretty awesome. A lot of a lot of plot twists and everything. So it's, yeah, it's pretty exactly. cool. A lot of backstabbing. <laughs> when you're when you're a father of one year old twin and pink, you're not, you're not watching TV. You're watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Oh, that's fucking yeah, crazy. yeah, for real. Yeah. Be ready, Pat. That's going to be your best friend. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. Big time. Bluey. Bluey's pretty... He's hot. <laughs> that's that's the hot trend right now. That's the hot... I think Bluey's a girl, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Bluey's Bluey. a girl. Uh-huh. Um, good shit, though. Like, it has very subtle, like, like a humor for the adults, but it's not, like, of sexual nature. It's just, like... So it went from Blue's Clues to went what for when I was a kid to Bluey. Yeah. Bluey. Bluey. Bluey's, Bluey's way better. She oh, okay. got her full show now. <laughs> for real. Oh, God. Um... Yeah, that that's a good one. Um, fuck, what else? I, my kid's watching Toy Story. My little one, she fucks with Toy Story like one Dude, through four. I, I swear, I try to put other Disney stuff on for my girls. Nah, it ain't happening. It's, it will. It's, it's got to be Mickey. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah, it'll change. It'll but it's change. funny, dude, because one of I swear one of my daughters is evil. Really? Yeah. What <laughs> makes her evil, man? Dude, tell us more about your evil she, ass kid. She'll she'll be watching the evil twin. Yeah, the evil twin. Yeah. She'll, be, she'll be watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, right? And Goofy's goofy as is always getting hurt. <laughs> she'll be chilling. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then she sees Goofy get hurt or something. Or or Daffy. Or the, well, Daffy's from Bugs Bunny, sorry. Or Donald Duck. Or one of the characters <laughs> gets true. hurt. And she's just like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Busting up. And I'm like, dude, she's evil. <laughs> Damn, that's she's mean. Only time will tell. It's funny, dude. It's funny. Yeah. Um, don't watch it with your kids because you're going to fall asleep. I know all the episodes now. Do you? Yeah. Like verbatim? Pretty much. I'm not going to. You have a pretty good memory. Yeah. Like, you remember shit like from 10 million years ago. And... Dude, you know what popped in my head right now? Uh, when fucking Dallas <laughs> Braden gave you guys that shout out. <laughs> way he way said, back when. He said you guys That's were... a throwback, dude. Yeah. He said they oh, were trash, yeah. but he gave him a shout out. Oh. I'll, pl- I'll play. Cool. I'll play that in the in the uh, cup check. That was a good. I'll play that in the yeah. cup check. Just remind me. Don't let me forget. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck. Oh, I'm watching shit with my wife because you guys mentioned Walmart. So the show, the show Superstore, um, it has that chick America Ferrera, yeah. on there, and uh, it's basically about Walmart. That's what the show's about, or like- basically, it's like it's like a like a comedy that's of a, a bunch of like store workers. <clears throat> and it kind of shows their daily lives and shit. But of course, like it comes with its drama and all that stuff. It's pretty oh, okay. good. They, they, it's pretty dope. Like I see some of the stuff, and like I used to work at Macy's way back when Macy's, Robinsons, May, and all that shit. Yeah, I'm old. Oh, wow. you, <laughs> Smurvins. Smurvins, oh. yeah. Not Mervin. Oh, did, did you say Smurvins? I said Mervins. Oh, you said Smurvins. My bad. I heard Smurvins. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mervins was way. I bought. The, I used to buy the high Sierra boots at, at Mervins, man. Fucking. Remember Anchor Blue. Anchor Blue was I right do. next to it. Anchor Blue was a shit. Anchor Blue was right next to it. Um, dope shit. Miller's Outpost right here. Is down, it used to be down the street right here by the uh, by the pizza place. I'm not that old. Damn. Just kidding, bro. <laughs> well, you're like, you're like, how old are you? Thirty years younger than you. I'm thirty-two. Okay. okay, I'm thirty-eight. And then Pat's thirty-two, same age. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. God, yeah. you're, you're young, dude. At least yeah. you ain't in your twenties. Yeah. Sometimes, I know. sometimes some of these kids, we we talk to them and they're like under, in their twenties. I'm just like. How am I 10 years older than you? I know. Do you know? Do you know that's for you? It's like I still play on the same field as you. Basically the Upland Mets. They're all, they're yeah. all pretty young. <laughs> yeah, I kind of look at them funny sometimes. I'm like, why did you say that? Can you elaborate? What, is, what does that mean? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of like sometimes. Not, not that there's a Mets group chat that, that I'm in or anything, but I don't understand <laughs> half the shit that... Where they call you Unk because you're old. Or OG. I'm OG. Yeah. You have a lot of OG nicknames, actually. Oh, fuck, I do. Boski. Tio. Um, what? Tio. Tio. Oh, Tio, yeah, Tio Boski. Uh, Are you guys um, running it back next year? <sighs> Pat? Are we running it I back? Mean, I mean, I'm down, but... Down to go play in the minor, the 18 minor. I, yeah. might have some, I might have something to say about Pat next year. Oh, he might he might have a claim on his body. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah. um, did you guys talk about the? Have you talked about the bet before? Briefly. Yeah. Briefly. Briefly. I have. You guys want to iron that out real quick? Make it official. I know. Right? Let's square this away. So, if the Fontana Marlins make it past the first round of the FBL playoffs, I have to join their team next season. But but you yeah. also but you also have a broken fibula that you've been playing on. 
He'll it, be he'll be off for a month and a half. He'll be fine by the season starts. I'm gonna take some time after this season, but okay. if I lose the bet, I'm a man of my word. I will join the Fontana Marlins and we'll we'll take it away from there. <laughs> but if they don't make the playoffs, what what you wanna you wanna take this one away or if we don't make the playoffs, which we are, we'd be going down to AAA. Wait, again. does your team know about this or yes, you've kept it know. a secret? No, they know. Okay, they know. Good way to motivate them. Okay. Yeah. So don't. what happens if they just don't want to go to AAA? Like, they back out. I mean, you can't back out. So. I can't back out. No. Dude, what do you mean what happens? I run this bitch. What the fuck? That's true. That's true. But Nah, I mean, they I talked to them. They fold. Yeah, I think that would happen <laughs> eventually. But no, um, we're a good head, we're a good headspace right now. I think we're pretty positive mm. going forward. Yeah. Um, The results are coming in. Some the way we want them, some not the way we want them. All <laughs> right. But um, big game next Sunday. Mm-hmm. It's all going to come down to that. Who do you got? Brew Crew. Brew Crew. So this is FBL, FBL Majors, Brew Crew. You guys playing for the the last spot in the playoffs? Um, Kinda. It, we, uh, the last two spots are up in the air. Uh-huh. A lot of things can happen. There's half games separating us, Indians, and Brew Crew. Right. So with the Indians lost today, if they lose next week and we win, they're out completely and we take the seventh seed. Mm-hmm. If the Indians win and we win, we're both in, and the Brew Crew would be out. Right, that would put the and Brew Crew at six and seven, mm-hmm. put you at six six and one. Indians at six six and one. Yeah. So what if the Indians lose and you lose against the Brew Crew? We're out. Oh, we can't. Okay. We can't lose. Oh, okay. That's gonna be crazy. Okay. Yeah. That. That's. Uh, what if you guys tie? I think we move on. I think they fall out because it counts as a win for us. Well, it wouldn't count. That as would a be win, your second win. But our, second ti- tie. our tie with the. With Tropics would put us at five, six, and two. Yeah. And yeah. that would be better than six and seven. Or six or six, six and one. It would be the same. It would be the same. I, that would be interesting. But then they would go to runs allowed. Nah, yeah, we're in. Okay. <laughs> if yeah. it goes down to runs allowed, yeah. we're in. That's gonna be interesting. Just win, bro. Yeah. I just win. I just want to point out the Fontana Marlins have allowed sixty nine runs. runs. Nice. It's probably gonna stay at that. That's hot. Oh. You see, you guys are the only ones with a 69. Oh, wait. The Tuneros in the AAA have scored 69 runs. Nice. Yeah. Anybody else? The Rieleros in the single A have given up 69 runs. We had a lot of chances nice. to score a lot of runs today. Mm-hmm. And we got that like, taken away. Dude, I was so mad. I see the Reds score like 25 opening day against these guys. <laughs> yeah, and then every team is averaging like 18 runs against these guys. What happens when we finally get to play them? They forfeit. Better watch out for the Reds, man. They're balling this year. They're sneaky, the Reds. bro. The Reds, yeah. the Reds are sneaky. Yeah. That's a good team. They used to dominate. They used to dominate. And it wasn't because they were the league's team. No, it's none of that. They were actually really fucking good. And, they, I mean, there's still signs of that. Yeah. Because well, they're, they're what, signs. like 7-4? 8-3? and four, eight and three? Currently, they are 8-4. 8-4. and four. Eight and four. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. playing the Indians next week, which... Matt Herrera's on the mound, our boy. Ooh, his dog, yeah. Now Matt, a champ. Matty <laughs> Bye Balls. Matty Bye Bye, Matty Big Balls, whatever you want to call oh, him. Oh, uh, Matty Bye Bye's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Matt what Matt you guys call him. <laughs> Good kid. Funny kid. Yeah, I love me yeah, some Matty Bye Bye's. Um, but, you know, with the FBL playoffs approaching, we're in MLB playoffs at the moment. Mm. Pat, you also have some bets there. <laughs> I have a lot of bets open right <laughs> You're now. You're a gambling man. I am, dude. It makes things a little bit more interesting, and I like mm-hmm. it. So, um, I had a bet with you. I actually owe you a shot. Um, yeah, you do. You owe me a shot. Well, you, we can accumulate them if you want. You don't have to do it today. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. But yeah, I took the I took the Astros and um, the Diamondbacks in Game One, and then I have a bet with uh, David from the Threshers. Boom. Um, yeah, we have a little yeah. wager on the line. Shout so. out to him for coming out all the way the fuck out here last yeah, week. That was a yeah. mission, bro. I'm surprised he came out, but it was cool to yeah, it was dope to have, with him for a yeah, while. Yeah, it was definitely dope to have him out here. Marlins, man, you missed out. Sorry. Thank God. Just kidding, David. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't you have a bet with him, too? No? Maybe. No. It, no, not with him. No, the no? only bet I had with him was with Sunday. Wasn't That's when our... Luck started turning, so gotcha. I'll bet with him any day. Of the so week. don't bet against the Fontana Marlins. Don't You're an animal, dude. Like sometimes some of the shit you be saying, I'm just like, man, this guy's bold. Don't let the Marlins yeah. get hot, bro. Instagram bold, though. I will say, no, nah, you're bold in person too. I talk my shit everywhere, bro. You do, you do. I I can attest to that. <clears throat> but MLB playoffs, 
uh, did you guys have like I know fucking Marlins had the uh, L- I oh, had a dog in the fight the LA the lose again Dodgers yeah <laughs> I've been saying it I just want to just want to say that I've said it a million times I'll continue to say it with your dumb Dodger hat wait till we get Shohei you're not <laughs> wait can oh. I can I say one thing go ahead fuck the Dodgers <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's Sorry, I had to get that off my chest. Fuck nah, yeah. man, look, I'm a, I'm a Dodger fan, raised a Dodger fan, and my dad's an Angels fan, so I don't oh, really, know. yeah, my dad's a hardcore Angel fan. I, he likes Mike Sosha. Oh, okay, former so Dodger. Yeah, so he followed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what comes around full circle. <laughs> he, he, he followed. He followed Sosha to the Angels and became a big diehard Angels fan. Oh, well, that's. I mean, that's fair, I guess. You got him a World Series. So yeah, that's cool. But um, nah, man, that team needs a lot of work. Not a lot of work from the top down. Um, Are we talking to the Angels about Dodgers, or the Dodgers? Dodgers, Dodgers oh, okay. Dodgers. I mean, they won. Go ahead. Games. I'll they, I'll allow you to talk about the Dodgers here. They today. won a hundred games this season. Don't ask me how because I still don't get it. They're playing a weak division. That's how. Look at the D-backs, bro. They just got hot, bro. The, the D-backs barely won eighty four games, <laughs> and they're they were the, barely over five hundred, and they got hot. Like a pet said, they yeah. got hot at the right time. And um, but um, no, Kershaw's got to go. I think he's just old. Send him to Boston. Farewell I'll, tour. Happily, I will happily take him to Boston. You want him for the Gators? I'll take him on the Gators. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take Juan on the Gators, dude. I don't care. <laughs> Why you got to bring up Juan? Because I can. No, no. Tell <laughs> us the reason. Because I hit a bomb off of him. That's why you were oh, supposed God. to say but, he throws strikes. Because he throws strikes. Yeah, wow. yeah. He does throw strikes. Yeah. He also leaves curveballs. Especially 0-2 hanging. in the count. It's 1-2. It oh, was it 1-2? It was 1-2, yeah. I love one. Come on, keep up, Pat. Sorry. <laughs> I try to forget that yeah. game. It was fun. That was a fun game. There's a lot of games you've been trying to forget lately. Mm. But yes. let's not forget about the Dodgers. Keep going. Uh, I want to hear your shit. I want to hear what you got to say. It's time you're for speaking, Marlins. You're speaking. You're representing the lose again Dodgers. It's time on for this. Marlins baseball, bro. Oh, it's time for Marlins baseball. <laughs> no, so, but so were you, like, all, were you seeing all, the Miami Marlins? We're like, that's right. No. No? <laughs> no, bro. We go with the old school logo. I hate the new logos. Yeah, that's true. I don't really like it either. But, it's because um, F. Yeah. No, I just, I, just, I mean, there's not much to say. I wish Roberts would go, but we all know that's not happening. No, yeah, probably not. He's and a yes man. He says yeah, yes to everything. Yeah, he just... Dude, my my theory was this. When I saw Austin Barnes come up to him for Taylor <laughs> Peralta, I was like, we're losing this game. Yeah, bro. Even I was just like, really, Austin fucking Barnes? I was, I was, I was actually watching, yeah. Motherfucker hit like 116 on the season. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, bad. you're he, really putting him into bad. He had, of good, course, he he had a gut feeling. Shut the Duh. fuck his feeling. <laughs> it has never worked in the playoffs. Well, there you go. Neither, no. has, neither has your manager, neither has your team. Keep going. That's how I got. We're going to get there. Shohei. You're not going to get Shohei. We're going to get Shohei. And we're, we're going we'll to get Shane Bieber, too. I think Shohei goes to somewhere like Seattle, honestly. I think he goes to the Yankees. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they got to be willing to structure a very specific I contract. Think, I think Shohei's going to get one of those, one of those Julio Rodriguez. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was getting at. Where, like, what is that like a five-year contract? But, yeah, but Julio Rodriguez's contract goes for anywhere from like two sixty to like five hundred mil. Yeah, it's kind of like based on incentives. Yeah, like mm. if you hit this milestone, you get this. If you hit this, milestone, you activate you get this, this part of the yeah. contract. That that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, which yeah, I work mean, for it. Yeah, he got he got what like eight years. I think it overall was like thirteen. Yeah, he's there for I don't know. Danny knows. DHS. Yeah. Knows. Danny will be happy right now hearing this. He's part. like, yeah, fuck yeah, mirrors. He's calling in and shit. Yeah. <laughs> SOS. <laughs> it was this many years and he's getting this much money. He's like, hey, <laughs> what's cracking, you funky butt lovers? <laughs> Let's go show hey, J Rod. Fucking, who else plays on the Mariners? I JP Crawford, Gino. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Ty France, they future MVP. Ichiro's coming back. <laughs> That's what the oh, I'll stop. They I'll stop. That, they had that bitch ass <laughs> pitcher that cried about pitching one, one more inning. Uh, George Kirby? Kirby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a bitch, dude. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that. I yeah. mean, I don't know. I think. I don't know. Yeah. He had to walk it back, though. Pat's been calling every pitcher that doesn't hit their over this week a bitch. Yeah. I know. Yeah, dude. It's pretty. Uh... I'm, I'm done betting. Hey, I would just, I would, Stop I, losing your money, bro. It's better I, you just keep it. I would be at work right. and I would just see Pat Killy. Austin, Aaron Nola's a bitch. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you think yeah. I actually care about these players, bro? As long as they hit their number, I don't care. That's true. Let's go fantasy. Um, all right, so back to the MLB playoffs. 
Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks swept. So swept. swept the losing game Dodgers. And then the Phillies uh, beat the Atlanta Braves 3-1 to one in the series. Uh, for the NLCS, uh, Philly and Arizona. And then you got uh, Houston beating the Twins and the Rangers beating the Oreos moving on to an all-Texas a- ALCS. Uh, who you guys got? What do you guys think? Who do you want to see in the World Series? Mm, it'd be cool to see the Rangers versus Phillies. But I'm kind of rooting for the Diamondbacks, man. Yeah. Just to see it. Just to see them hot. back in the World Series. I've... Somebody knew. Yeah, Dude, I yeah swear. someone knew. Corbin Carroll's been haunting me for like the last week. After they swept the Dodgers, he's been kicking my ass every time I Dude. play someone in, it, in the show with him. Uh-huh. Like last night, I played someone and hit, he had like three bombs on the next pitch. Mm-hmm. I just fucking hit him. I was like, fuck this guy. <laughs> you still playing the show? Yeah. MLB the show? Yeah. Which one? The last year's? The or? new one. The new one? Oh, okay. yeah. Dude, I bought it and it's installed on my daughter's uh, Switch. Mm-hmm. It's hard to play on the Switch, bro. I mean, I just pop it on the TV, though. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, so I just don't play it. Like, I don't have. I barely have time to work on podcast things, dude. It's stupid. Yeah, like this is probably the show time. Like, I would be playing right now. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I'm. Well, I apologize for taking no, your show you, time. I, I now you're getting, now you're apology. providing your time to the show. Yeah, I try. To, I try to do what I can. Definitely for the, for the community. Mm-hmm. So you want to see in the World Series? Just to clarify, I like the Rangers. I hate the fucking Astros, so I would love to okay. see the Rangers. I like what they're doing right now. Their starting pitching was which, which was one of their biggest downfalls has been shoving. You're right. Mm-hmm. Fucking Jordan Montgomery. Yeah. Fuck the Yankees. And the Fuck Cardinals. the Yankees for sure. Hate the Yankees, dude, for and life. The Cardinals. Why the Cardinals? Just because fuck them. Fucking that one time they broke Edgar. Um, Handy Ramirez's fucking rib. What'd they do? You don't, you don't remember that? That was nah. the season that Hanley left to the Red Sox. Uh-huh. Fucking, I think the Dodgers were up in the series. Hanley came up, wham, fastball right at the ribs. Broke oh. his shit. Damn. Do you think it was intentional? Yes. Fuck the. What makes it intentional? That. The Dodgers were going to win that series. But they didn't, right? No. Shocker. Because Hanley broke his rib. <laughs> Shocker. The losing end Dodgers. He was their best player. <laughs> they lose again. That's how they. That's the meme that they need to make. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you like... Um, I like the Rangers. You like and Texas I, and, and Arizona. Uh, dude, there's something about Harper, bro. When he fucking hits a bomb and <laughs> rounds those bases, Yeah. that motherfucker's got swag. He's got the it factor. And I like Castellanos, too. Yeah, I used to, yeah. not, I used to not, not like Castellanos, but I like the swagger, the demeanor he goes off of, mm-hmm. like fuck everybody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he he's been caught on camera like flipping guys off, no, in his dugout. It's a ring. He's doing the ring. Is it? Me. Oh, because yeah. I was like, it looks I think like the he's... I think the first one was yeah. actual middle finger. <laughs> he looks like he's doing this, and I'm like, oh shit. And then the next one that that they showed was his like was his ring finger. Yeah. Pat, but, speaking of rings, are you, sorry not to cut you off, Richard. You getting the uh, the Nava ring? I think the, so. The custom? Yeah, I think so. I already so. signed up, man. Really? I'm signed up for the, the custom. Yeah, I'm going to have to sign up. But yeah, I think I'm going to go go for the December custom December 15th, ring. right around the corner, sir. So. Yeah, no, I'll make sure I sign up for that. That'd make, be cool. Make that one uh, happen as my fucking hamstring cramps. Jesus Christ. Oh, those are fun. And when you're sitting here and yeah. it cramps up, I'm like, I don't know if you guys caught that. Um, all right, where are we? So, World Series? Come on, man. Uh, make I'm, up your mind. I'm going Phillies Rangers, man. Phillies Rangers. Okay, Pat. I'm gonna go Houston, uh-huh. Diamondbacks. Also, oh, just fuck me, huh, Pat? Yeah. <laughs> Houston Diamondbacks. That's keep, what I'm going okay. for. And you keep doing this, bro, and you keep losing. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna take uh, Philly and Houston. Yeah. And I'm and I'm going I'm going with Houston winning the World Series, man. Really? These motherfuckers are in it every goddamn year. They know how to win ball games. That's like, true. I feel bad for the Texas Rangers because they're gonna be heartbroken. Yeah. How do you feel about the Phils though? The Phils they're fun. They're exciting. Their bullpen is fucking ecstatic. Dude. And but and they're young. But and their home field advantage is unmatched. Yeah. If they win unmatched. if they win one wherever they go play, it's gonna be a shit show. Yes. Yeah, so they have home field advantage. Uh it's gonna be difficult for Houston to beat them. Just break Jordan and uh, um, well, was that the World Series last year, Houston yeah. Philly? Okay, I'm tripping. I thought it was Houston and Atlanta, but that was the year before. And right? fucking yeah. the Astros have Christian Javier, who just fucking throws shutouts every time he's in the playoffs. Dude, this stud, bro. Yeah, the, their pitching staff is out of control. And then Framber was kind of a, had an off year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, but he weird. still, yeah, he had a weird year. Didn't he throw no hitter or a perfect game this year? He threw no hitter. And then he ended up sucking. Not the, and then he well, sucked he, the he next week. Suck. Yeah, he was just like not that good. The next week, yeah, like after that, he kind of just like tapered off a little bit. 
Maybe yeah. uh, it's a shoulder. Who's stuff. the other main Astros pitcher? He's like out for the whole. McCullers? Rest. No, it's another Dominican guy or a Javier. Um, oh, the guy Luis Garcia. Garcia, yeah, Luis the one always rocking. I don't know if he's actually Dominican. I don't know what he yeah, is. He rocks but. the baby Garcia. Yeah, I think he's he's Dominican. Yeah, he's a good pitcher too when he's healthy. But I don't who, know. Threw, who mm-hmm. threw for them today? Was it Verlander? Yes, of course. Verlander's another Kershaw. He is. He really yeah, is. Yeah, he does. He gets. He gets pretty like shelled in the playoffs, bro. Yeah. For real. But, yeah, it's like he never left Houston, man. It was just weird to see him in in, uh, in a Mets uniform. It's funny. Kind of like, bo- like seeing Pat in a Mets uniform. <laughs> I know. Both of the <laughs> Mets big signings in the ALCS. That's true. Max it's both Scherzer. Left. They both left. Yeah. Max Scherzer and Verlander. Yeah, I like that. It's rumored that they didn't really like each other. Kind of like that. That little the little rivalry. They going were together on. in Detroit, no. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they were. And supposedly they didn't really like each other there. So what's on your mind, Richard? Oh no, I'm thinking no, I was I did I did read that right. Mm-hmm. That Scherzer's activated? Scherzer ac- yes, yeah, Scherzer's activated for the series. I saw that. So yeah. for shots, what's the shots bet? So if are we going just game by game, or what are we doing here? Um or, well we're you and I are currently going game by game. I think I have a uh, Houston and Philly. No, yeah. no, I have. Yeah, you said Houston. You have Texas Philly. and Philly. I have Texas and Philly. And I have okay. Diamondbacks and Houston. Oh, so I you owe me one shot. Yeah, yeah. but if the Diamondbacks win tomorrow, it we'll just push. It. Yeah, we'll push. That okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's just see what happens. I've we'll done do, we'll, take shots. We'll regardless. do it like that. Yeah. Are the Astros off tomorrow? Uh, they probably play. Oh, yeah, they play tomorrow. Yeah. That was stupid. The NLCS, the NLDS, how they were. Yeah. They played mm-hmm. one game, then they were off the next day, then they played. It's because no, 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 no. Oh, I thought you were saying that I was coming up with an excuse for the Dodgers. Uh, no, there's no. Nah, that that well, shit was bullshit. Too. It was bullshit. Yeah. Even I was just like, oh, come, come on, like, yeah, Dodgers have no luck, bro. They just suck this year. Everybody hates the Dodgers. No, they just didn't play good. I hate the Dodgers. Yeah, it is I know you do. Yeah, big time. Um, they just they rub me a certain way. I don't like the color blue. I'm not a blue kind of guy. Like you look in here, do you see much blue? Probably not. That's funny, dude. I was thinking to myself the other day, like, what kind of a person likes red? And then you popped in my head. I was like, this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. We made the dad. <laughs> we made the daddies red. That's all me. Like there was no way it was gonna happen unless it was red. Just wasn't gonna happen. If we ever did a tournament team, it's staying red. I don't care what anybody yeah. says. Nobody uses red. Oh, no. red's whack. Like, is it? Is it, though? <laughs> Dude, I played for the longest time when I was playing out in, in L.A. Mm-hmm. We were the Bravos, and these motherfuckers would wear the Red Sox hat and a red jersey with the with the Boston lettering, but it would just say Bravos. That's sick. I want one. It wasn't sick. Oh, was, <laughs> well, was it, like, it was poorly red. made? It was red. But was it poorly made or was no, it good quality? No, it was, it was just, like, one of those, like, where you, like, glue on the letters. Oh, fuck me. Like the new MLB jerseys or no? No, like 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 your little league jerseys. Like press on yes, shit. Yes. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Like, like you iron that shit yeah. on. Yeah. Those are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well moving on away from um MLB talk, I mean we go back to Napa next year. Pat, we run it back. Do you go um uh, do you go as a vlogger or do I go as a vlogger? Honestly, it it be- fish. Uh, fish, Marlins. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of things. Aren't you guys more like air. whales? No, that's stupid. That's that's dumb of me. I, I take <laughs> yeah, that back. Bro. I know. Are you that. calling our team <laughs> fat? <laughs> no, you guys uh, have backbones. Oh, thank there you. There you go. Um, Good fun save. Love. It's a tough decision though, because mm-hmm. I mean, there's different options that we can take or mm-hmm. different avenues. But to be a vlogger out there while playing. At the same time, it's hard because there's certain games we want to see, but it's like, damn, we're playing here and it's like 30 minutes away. It's very difficult. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to kind of just drive all over the place, mm-hmm. but I'd be down for whatever, man, just to vlog yeah. or, or play with a team mm-hmm. either way. So, yeah, we'll see. So I bring you kind of back to Naba and, and all that. I know we're kind of jumping around a bit, but championship baseball has been played a lot this year in Arizona. Right, or at least good fucking baseball. Yeah. You had the, the, the baseball classic, the USA-Mexico game. Craziest game I've ever been to in my oh, life. Yeah. It'll be unmatched. And we go we go to do NABA, played in the craziest game I've ever played in, in my life probably. And now the Arizona Diamondbacks are right in there. So They're making a push. There's a thing there. Sunday League rub, maybe? Maybe. 
Maybe. I'm a big fan of Sunday League Rub. Do you think they oversold the seats for, for the Dodge, for the Dodgers? Of course. For the Mexico-USA game? Because that shit looked two-pack. Did they oversell? Yeah, um, like no, people were standing all over the place. Uh, maybe. Maybe. That but you know motherfuckers high. can't sit in, sit in yeah. place. Like like me, like I, got, I, could sit, I could sit in my seat all night. You know, if I could hold my piss, I will. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm a savage. A fucking iron bladder over here. What's the longest you guys have held your piss? That you can think of. Uh, it's like, ain't no way I'm pissing. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good question. I don't know. Because it's very difficult to do. I, I, I can hold it pretty well. Same. I've got a story. In December. <laughs> this I past was, December? Yeah, I was down in Mexico. Okay. And so basically, I'm from where Old Chapo's from. Mm-hmm. We're from the same area. Okay. Interesting. So, Google it if you guys don't know. <laughs> So his son got arrested in December. So well, January. A lot of cartels out there, you'd say. Yeah, so, a lot. Okay. The Martins cartel is not one of them guys. <laughs> Just clarifying that now. Yeah. The non-existent Martins cartel got it. But, um, so, Thursday morning, we find out that El Chapo's son had been captured. These motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, I remember now, yeah. You, you, I know you remember. I These remember, motherfuckers yeah. rioted. Like, roads were closed. International roads were closed. There was no way of leaving our ranch. Wait, how long did how long did you riot for? No, or, I didn't riot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there was riot. Wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Damn it. I actually hit my truck because they were like, that shit might get taken to riot, so put it put it away somewhere. So I had to go hide it. <laughs> Damn, no way. Yeah. So it, was, it was in hiding. <laughs> now you're telling minutes. the truth. Yeah. Uh, but um, so basically, I wanted to, I wanted to come back Friday because Monday Sunday we had opening day. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Yeah. I remember this. Yeah. So I go to the. You like, guys lost to the Yakis this day, no? No, this... we tied with the dirt bags. The... Oh, that's right. Okay. My bad. My mistake. Because we played in Monday because everybody's games got canceled except for ours. Yeah, I remember now. But, um, so I go to the, I go to the um, international road and I ask, there was a bunch of, um, military. And I asked, hey, I need to go home. Like, <clears throat> He's like, oh, well, the airport's going to be closed. I was like, no, no, no. I'm driving back. He's like, oh, well, the road's probably going to open Saturday morning. <laughs> and I was like, fuck. So I was in Mexico an extra two days. And I remember just thinking to myself, like, I, I woke up Saturday morning. put every, Friday night, I put everything in the car. Saturday morning, I wake up. And my first thought is get in the car and drive. So I take off and I'm driving. And I stopped and got gas right before I got out of the state. But it takes like three and a half, four hours to get out of the state from where we're from. And, of course, you know, your bladder works in fucking funny ways. As soon as I got in the car, I had to pee. <laughs> and I'm driving, and I was like, there's no way. I can't stop anywhere. Like, I got to drive. Like, I'm driving 100 miles. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. As soon as I crossed the state line, I got off. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I got to pee. <laughs> so I was, I was holding it for like four hours just speeding. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? You were speeding because you were holding it. I was speeding because I wanted to get out of the state. And yeah. I was speeding. And, and I was speeding because I had to hold So how here. long did it take you to get across the border? To here in the U.S.? Yeah. Like I from took where off you were at? at 8 in the morning. And I crossed the border like at like at 9 at night. Fuck. Fuck that. Yeah. I was expecting what? a different like we're, twist of the story. Yeah, I thought I was, you like pissed yourself. Yeah, or, well, like, I mean, you pissed in a bottle no, or no. something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. but damn, bro, that's a long, that's a long ass time yeah, to hold yeah. that shit. My, my dad would. He he always had to piss right on the road and stuff, and uh, he would pull over and like pop the trunk open and he'd like pretend like he's looking in there. He's you're, just you're checking a tire, or some shit. Yeah, yeah he's he's yeah. just like pissing and shit, just like like. Funny oh, shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking shout out to my dad, man. I came, recently came across some uh, some some pictures. OG Those pictures. are some cool pictures. Some, some OG yeah, shit, yeah, bro. I was gonna bring that up. So like, there's a picture where like my, my pops is standing there with one of his teammates, and they're taking a picture with this tall ass lady. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna probably share it just to kind of give some context uh, for the listeners and all that. <clears throat> I did a little research on that. You did a little research. Yeah. Okay. So hold on. But my my dad was he had like the baggy dirty mids and then their team went, their team name was Marcy. And it was like a white uniform, red letters, red hat with an M on it. Like it was pretty sick. You know, so and so this lady standing there in between him and his teammate and she's holding flowers, you know, for just, like you guys asked me like 
I, why is he I holding know, power? I don't know why. All right, well, what do you got? So, what's your theory? No, no, it's not a theory. Like I asked, like some OGs that used to play. Okay. So basically, back in the day, like when they would start up their season, they would have an opening day, like little league, mm-hmm. where all the teams would come out and every team would have a representative, which was a girl. And there's a, and I and I, I figured this out because there's a league in New York, Liga Mexicana. I don't know if you follow. Yeah, them. I do. And they they do the same shit where they have. Gotcha. This girl out like, there, there, repping every yeah, yeah like like Alama, Alama. Yeah. yeah, like their like the queen like repping their team. So I'm guessing she was probably like the queen of their team. Ah, uh, okay. Or yeah, of yeah. the league. It could, could be, yeah, or, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So uh, because I was his teammate that was standing with him in that picture. Yeah, that's, that's from what I remember. Yeah, um, they did something Mexican similar show. when I was 13 years old. I got to play in uh, in Venezuela for like a like a junior Pan American some bullshit, and we Mexico played or US. Who did I Mexico or the U.S.? U.S. Um, I'll show you Jersey one day if you want. I'll show you a picture. I have what number pic- were you? <laughs> 25. Yeah. Fuck you, Boski. You're going to be 25 on the Marlins. <laughs> no, I'm not. I see what you did there. That's clever. Well, speaking of being number 25 on the Marlins, I have a jersey that's pretty fucking sick. It's a pullover. It's got number five on the back. It's a Los Marlins jersey. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Anytime, bro. I got yeah, you. I, I, I do... Pats is on the way. Pats is yeah, on the way. Those are pretty sweet, bro. I'm not even going to lie. Those yeah, are really they're, nice. They're really nice. They got like the sublimated like black black fades into teal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, bro, like. Co- Coca-Cola is yeah, on the, the, the sponsors. Are, yeah. Like they, they're, they're super. I mean, when I, when I showed you the, <laughs> when I showed you the, the, the mock-up, uh-huh. you were like, that's like the country connect. Cause it's like, all, like all yeah, the it's, the, it's the international connect for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it reminds me a lot of the uh, the Maywood Mariachi's uh, country connects because like Dude, they have they did a sarape jersey. That shit's sick, bro. <laughs> I need to go pick mine up. I'm just oh, you ordered one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. but I I like to think outside the box, and I like getting new new uniforms because mm-hmm. I I get tired of like I we had we had the white ones which are from the beginning of the season. Yeah, and they're not bad. They're nice, but I was like, we need something different. Like we need to change it up. And yeah. I'm, and, Baseball superstitions. I'm big, big on switching the mojo. Yeah. So, I was like, "Fuck it, let's switch it up." When we got, we got these, and I, I was like, I, "I'm from Culiacan, Tomateros. Tomateros had a jersey where they would go from black to to burgundy because burgundies are color." Mm-hmm. And um, I wanted to go something that was like something like that, and I and I saw a pinstripe jersey that said Los Marlins mm-hmm. from like back in the day. So I was like. We'll do that and that. And he sent me a mock-up, and it looked sick. And I was like, all right, green light. So he started them. And then I was like, you know what? Let's get a little more Mexican. And I went, and I added the, and I added the su carne patch, which is a, a meat shop in Culiacan. Yeah, and, buddy. That's where they butcher all their... That's where the cartel takes all their dudes to butcher them, right? I get you. The Telcel, which is the, the national telephone brand. Ahora and tú, cara cicatriz. Sorry, Scarface. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we did the Coca Cola on the panza because we all got big bellies because yeah. of the coke. Yeah, you and guys we, all have big bellies. Not all of us. Not all of us. No. We have some. We have some skinny fools in there. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Pat yeah. saw them. The good ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's there's, there's a couple out there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, full, no disrespect. I'm just joking. And um, we, I get did the, we, did, we did the te- tecate in the back. Nobody's a big drinker on the team. I'm probably bullshit. No, I swear to God. Really? I swear to God. Okay. That's like. You should have brought some tecates, man. That would have been interesting. I, I mean, I'm not a fan of tecates. Pat, do you like tecates? No, I don't. Not That's really. like, no. I like I like um, IPAs. I like yeah. Coors Light. Like craft beers. Hey, Coors Light is not bad. Yeah. Coors Light is dope. I, I remember, like, like If you're going to go with a light beer, that's probably one of my favorites. Or Michelob Ultra. God. Yeah. If, dude, I crushed. Like, whatever we had left over from last week, I fucking drank all of it this week. It was really? hot as shit this week. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was. Uh, dude, I stayed up so late all this week. Man, I'm fucking beat. Bro, I would wake up like at one in the morning with uh, my girls waking up, and I would see you online. Like, what the fuck is this fool doing? Oh, uh, we're watching Superstore. <laughs> 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 it all comes full circle, man. Yeah, yeah. So Culiacan, huh? Yeah. My my wife's from from uh, her family. They're right? from they're from Sinaloa, Mazatlan yeah. specifically. And so, I mean, my my uh, cartel team is better your cartel team. Let's go Venados. Winter ball's right around the corner. No, man. it started. It started this weekend. Oh fuck! I want to go. Yeah, I want to go. My my goal is to go to one of the Caribbean series. And yeah, this, this year is going to be cool. in Miami. Oh, welcome Ooh. to Miami. Yeah, Bienvenidos a Miami, huh? February. 
I want to go to uh, Miami so bad. It looks so much fun. Out there. The, WC, it, the WBC looked electric out there. Yeah, yeah. it was. Bit, yeah, for sure. I think it was the oh, just the USA Mexico game is probably the only comparable game to what so, they had yeah. out there. They had like fucking full blown band, bands like their their type of bands from right. like Puerto Rico, the Caribbean yeah. ones. They had, the, they had the people on top of the dugouts and shit. Yeah, it was nuts. ruckus. Yeah, patting his Coors Light. <laughs> suck one. Do you know? Do you know about that? Of course, no. I suck one. That was a Red Sox podcast thing. Oh. Jerry Krabbe. Shout out to Jerry Krabbe, man. Biggest motivator of all time. That was fucking funny. Dude. I love Krabbe, man. He's got such one a day, big ego. One day. All these fucking Red Sox fans have the biggest egos. We do have big egos, yes. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's fine. I mean, you have to walk around with a big ego. Like, you have to. Especially when, like, I guess I have to because of what I do here. But I mean, I keep it. I keep it. Uh, no, for sure you. Have I keep to it have, polite. Yeah, for sure you have to have some sort of self confidence to be able to do this. You know. Jesus Christ! I slapped the shit out of the cable. <laughs> the cable. Fuck this cable. Hey man, look, we're, it's not professional equipment, obviously, but it sounds good. No, it does. Sounds fine. It yeah. gets it done. It gets it done. Um, you know what else gets it done when you have full, full beer? Did do we do we wrap up whatever the fuck we were talking about? Yeah, I think we just made our picks, and then you guys talked about your bet. Uh huh, and then and then we went on to the championship baseball in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to lose again, Dodgers. Uh, what else? <laughs> Ask me where my team's at. Yeah, where's your team at? Cancun. They're drinking at home, and they have to get up every five minutes to Pee? fill up their cup. Oh, their version of cup check. Cup check. Cup check. We'll be right back. Ralphie, Danny boy, Sunday podcast grindhouse. Hmm. Look, boys, I, I know you're trying, right? So so keep trying, because that's about all you're going to be able to do is try. You ain't on this fucking level. It's the big leagues. Well, it might even be considered the bigger leagues compared to what you guys are working with. And, and let's be honest, we've got Rube on deck for starting nine next week. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a, it's going to be a great seg. Uh, a, lot of, a, lot of fan, a lot of fan anticipation behind that one. Yeah. Yeah, you know how it goes. Anyways, boys. Just want to make sure you guys are doing all right. Staying safe during the queue, the big queue. Quaron, dodging them Ronas with limes. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait till we'll, can't wait till we're back on a baseball field. Can't wait till we're talking baseball. Can't wait till we got something to talk about. Even on your uh, 37th ranked uh, podcast out of uh, 35. Good luck, boys. What's good, Sunday League Podcast crew? Dontro Willis here, man. Just sending the message right now. Now, Boski, I hear you talking shit that nobody can strike your ass out. You talking about five? dollars Let's put it to five hundred dollars then, since you talking so much shit, Cat Daddy. Holla at me, man. I need to know this shit, bro. Let's fucking go. Please respond to me ASAP. D train over and out. <laughs> Hey, Rube, Boski, DH, it is Chris Rose from Intentional Talk on MLB Network, and I want to congratulate you on your awesome podcast, The Sunday League. Uh, Really, it's so important because people get to see our show on MLB Network. Uh, It's fun. We have a great time, but it's shows like yours that grow the game at the grassroots level and get to dig deep into stuff, whether it's on a local level or anything else. So kudos to you. I'm very proud. Uh, Keep up the good work. And who knows? Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll join one day if I get an invite. I mean, what else am I doing these days other than growing a Dan Fouts looking beard? By the way, what do we think of it? Huh? Actually, it doesn't matter what you think of it. My wife thinks I'm hot again after almost twenty three years of marriage, so I'm keeping this bad boy. So there you go. Um, hopefully, I'll give a listen to your podcast. Hopefully, I'll join. But you got to do something. Pay your umpires fees. And we're back from our cup check. Pat, Richard, what would you guys think about some of this old school shit that we used to have? Uh, motherfuckers calling us out and shit. Motherfuckers being a uh, Dontrell Willis motherfucker. Uh, fucking Dallas Braden motherfucker. Perfect game thrower. Really? Two lefties, two punk ass lefties. They would have both struck your ass out. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how. Dontrell Willis for sure. Um, does sorry. his arm work? No offense. <laughs> Can he throw a baseball? He's, I mean, he's, to me, he's still young enough to be in the league. Shit. Uh, how old is that guy right now? Has uh, to be f- 40s, right? I mean, 
Maybe 50. Fuck, Dontrell Willis. Do you think he's the only one with the last name Willis? What you talking about, Willis? Dontrell Willis. Dontrell yeah. Willis. He, no, there's a few guys. Okay, Dontrell Willis like was, 49, probably. was born in 1982. He's 41. Oh, oh shit. He's 41. super young. So he probably Damn. he probably would have been finishing up his career had he like played a full career and all that. Yeah. Uh, let's see, he's a rookie of the year. D train on mine. There you go. Rookie of the year in hit. 2003. He could hit. Yeah, yeah he could hit too. Yeah, 13 home runs, dude. That's this motherfucker hit 13 home runs. Oh, no, he gave up 13 home runs. My bad. I'm stupid. Who was your favorite pitcher that could actually mash? Dontrell. Dontrell? Yeah. Remember Don- Carlos Zambrano? Savage. No gloves, right? Yeah. He went no gloves. Yeah, that motherfucker that- could mash it cooler in the dugout. <laughs> Oh, dude, he, he would have savage. the biggest breakdowns. Yeah, let me see. D Train had uh, nine career home runs in nine years. He only played for nine years. That's random. That's still pretty good, bro, for a pitcher. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I, unfortunately, it seems like he fills it out. Two hit two forty one. He was a career two forty four hitter. You know who could hit? Is that Granky? Is that Granky could hit? He's fun for yeah. his small ass frame. Would you stop touching that? <laughs> Baumgartner I know you like touching Stuff like that Fuck David And fuck Baumgartner Okay <laughs> What's that about? He's a giant Anyways <laughs> okay. um, Alright So Yeah so we uh, We used to get <laughs> Shout outs Got one from Chris Rose That was the last one you heard The first one was from uh, Dallas Braden And yeah. Dontrell Willis Pat what do you think? I thought it was pretty cool man I was like We were super small time yeah, that was early on in the podcast, but I was just like, uh, to, to actually see them, you know, give a personal shout out like that on camera, I'm like, that's pretty sweet, man. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, good times. Mr. Marlins, man. Just hearing it right now just took me back to when the pot started. I yeah. Was, I mean, I was a You're fan. day one. Yeah. He's a day one. It's crazy. It trips me out, though. I'm just like, I think the first time I interacted with you, you were Tacos del Ranchito. Yeah, that was our money laundering. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I knew it. I fucking Monday laundry ass. It's a joke, Bosky. No, that's fucking true. Well, there's smoke, there's fire, dog. Oh, my God. You said it, not me. I didn't make I'm the joke. Home. So you're an OG listener. Yeah. No, yeah, he's it was one. funny, dude. We bought, we bought tacos off of that. I'm not, shit. I'm not okay. joking when I say this, dude. Like, it was, I think you guys were starting right before COVID got bad, right? Yes. And I was like, it'd be dope as fuck to have someone in the Sunday leagues going through scores, going through... I'm fucking out of nowhere. Like, like my phone read my mind. These motherfuckers popped up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's because the baseball gods heard your prayers, man. I think so. Yeah. Wish it would have given me better voices, but I'll take yeah. it. And they they uh, they decided to put me on here because when I die, I'm gonna be a baseball god. I'm gonna be roaming around <laughs> in the beautiful <laughs> baseball fields of heaven, the field of dreams with Bartolo. With Bartolo, fucking our our OG. He's our OG mascot. Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior for real. See, you know more of, of like you remember. Remember you shit, remember yeah. more of it than I do. Like to yeah. me, like a lot of it's just a blur because it was con- like that's all we did during COVID. If we we're like, all right, what are we gonna do this week? What are we gonna do this week? It was difficult. Like, I remember all yeah. the shout outs. Like you would shout out people for sharing your shit. Oh man, I have a couple of shout outs by the way. Well, I have one, two. I have two shout outs. Two shout outs. As we will get to that later though. It's my little black book. Segment. There's one of them tacos del ranchito because that shit's dead. It's not, isn't it? Your like, no, my wife took over the account. Oh, <laughs> she changed it into um, she's selling kids' clothes. Oh, okay. Yeah, like nice. she's using my daughter's as models. I'm gonna start charging her for that shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, so it went from tacos to child yeah, modeling. She took well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she Interesting just, choice of words. <laughs> more money laundering. <laughs> See exactly. <laughs> I do. Nah, she, she, this she, guy's she, trying to play it off. She just wanted to start a little business, and I don't want her to really work because we have two kids that are right need a lot of time. So she got some connections, and she sells really cute clothes for girls. And I really like how she dresses my girls, so I think that'll benefit her okay. for sure. Right on. That's what's up, man. You know, always a, a new business venture is always uh, it's always fun. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's weird because I'll get home, and she's on the computer just like. Writing like orders down and shit, mm-hmm. and I'm like, pay attention to me. And she's like, I'm working. You're like, like, tengo nah, hambre. Fuck that. Yeah, hazme algo de comer. Yeah, tú hazlo. No, sabe más rico cuando tú yeah, lo haces. Yep. Exactly. It tastes better when you make it. <laughs> That's why I tell my wife all the time. But it's true. It's huge fucking facts. And then I'll tell her like, 
If you're not going to pay attention to me, I take, I'll take i take your working tools and I'll take her computer oh, and her phone and walk away. That's wild. <laughs> and then I give them back. I'll take a man's tools. Why are you so abusive, dude? Because she <laughs> fucked up my <laughs> evil shield. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bro. She fucked yeah. up my evil shield. Don't forget that. Oh, okay. That's Fair right. Enough. She did Fair fuck enough. up your evil shield. I forgot about that. You're, yeah. you're, you're in the right. You're here. forgiving, yeah. You're yeah. forgiving. Lots no, but shout out, shout out to the wives, man. Everybody's wives that uh, allow, you know, Pat, Richard, yes. D.H., uh, everybody else has been on here that's married or at least has a significant other to be on here. Uh, my wife, she takes a huge grunt of it. Yeah, dude, um, it's it's so. funny because we don't we don't, especially when we have kids. I don't think we appreciate it enough. Mm-hmm. Like my wife, she's gonna get her citizenship, so she's going to school Monday nights and Wednesday nights. Mm-hmm. So I get home from work and I take care of the girls. I'm taking care of the girls for three hours a week. It's tough, isn't it? It's fucking crazy, dude. I don't know how she does it all day, bro. Yeah, bro. Like these two girls, she's love, probably fucking dying to go yeah, to school. She, they love to fight each other, and I'm like, holy shit, these girls are crazy. Yeah, it's kids will do that to you, Pat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And, and it's funny because one's a biter and one's a hair puller. Oh shit! So when the one goes in for the bite, the other one backs down and just pulls her hair, and I'm like, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 separating them. It's, yeah. Yeah. Kids, man. Love Speaking them. of fights, though, what do you guys think about the power rankings? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. You guys want to talk about that? Yeah, Let's why not? see. Power rankings. Well, I mean, I guess it's a rundown. There's uh, some new blood coming in for some power rankings. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me see. Let me pull this shit up. Well, first things first. We started kind of, you know. We cracked the top 50. Thank you, d- Pat. D- I did see that. Yeah. So, Thank I, su- you, Pat. I suggested the DH. Uh, maybe we should have like like a, like a prereq to qualify for this. Uh, eligibility for the Sunday League Power Rankings. Minimum so we, five games. We start. With, we started putting, you know, kind of like what to, wh- why you don't qualify if you don't fit any of these. At you least suck. there's other shit that like is not listed on here, but you're gonna have to talk to DH, to DH about that because I don't know off the top of my head. I'm drunk. Oh. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so it, <clears throat> the first one is a top competitive division in your league, right? You got to be one of those teams. You got to so be a wait, wood bat. Quick question. So it can't be only division in your league, right? Um, some exceptions. There's some exceptions. For example, like the Maywood league, like they're, they're yeah, 16, I guess they're right. a six team league. So they're, they're in there. Well, um, they're about to finish. The, is it for them? There's a, an LA Muni league, I believe. No, that's no. not a league. Fuck that. <laughs> that's where the Valley Boys are currently at. Yeah, that's not a real team either. Why do you say that? Bro, you cannot go on Saturday nights and post. Who wants to play for the Valley Boys tomorrow? That <laughs> means your team does not have a fucking roster. Mm, I see. What you're, so you, you're more talking about like roster. It's not stuff. a traditional team. Fair. Well, they do make content. Z Fighters, were they a real team? Were they a wood bat team? They played a metal bat. Then no, they were not a real team. So they're a, they're a content they're team. They're a content team, yeah. Okay. And now they're playing basketball. I saw that. <laughs> God. God damn it. Not fun. But he's got a lot of videos to catch up on. Yeah, it reminds me of someone. I can't wait till I see your Nabo blog in 2035. Oh, dude, I'm still working on the LA Crooks one, man. In 2035 so I can get motivated to go to that World Series. <laughs> Let me see. Let me put that in there. The, the, Work like, on um, blog. <laughs> Uh, Bro, that Naba vlog is gonna be epic, though. Yeah, I mean, no, for, on, on, for honestly, the videos that I got, like, I'm, we'll see. I'm gonna try and spice it up as much honestly, as I can. It'll be good. Like, it'll just be like good. talking to you guys during that week, and and just looking at videos. You guys were all sad in the. In no, the... I wasn't sad. I was just like, I gotta do this. <laughs> I wish I was there. I have to yeah. do it once, and like, I, like I have a buddy of mine that tells me, "Oh, join up with this team," and I'm like, "I'll t- if I can get most of my guys, even if we go and play in the bottom division, I don't care." If I can get most of my guys to go, and we go and we compete and we have fun, and we can add on a couple guys here and there, I'll do that. Because I'm not going to go let someone else manage my team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You have to go for the experience. Yeah. Dude. It was it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. My suggestion, go with a different team. Um, <laughs> next thing, obviously, Woodbat. Speaking of tournament teams, no tournament teams qualify for this. Uh, DH recently made an exception, though. Uh, unless your team takes their Sunday league team to the tournament, then that'll kind of give you a bump if you perform well. Um, Will it affect you if you perform negatively? I have no idea. You have to ask DH because okay. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, the league has to provide official results some way, somehow. 
that's very difficult in some leagues. For example, like the Norwalk League. Like, I want to know more about the Norwalk League without actually having to go because I have to take time away from the stuff that I'm doing over here. I hear they're really, it's, you know, it's a very competitive league. So, mm-hmm. but Norwalk League, like, yes, we want to get them in there, but they got to. There's no. We need some help with that. For and, sure. it, and honestly, guys, like, I know that league presidents have a lot of work cut out for them. Like, I've seen, like I, I think I've brought it up here before where I see Sam there, like, early in the morning getting mud out of the field. Mm-hmm. And I get that. But Sam is efficient about putting up shit on the roster. I don't know, on the league page. I don't know if it's yeah. him or his sons. But by the end of Sunday, we know who's in what place and who won and who lost. Yeah, the scores yeah. are up. So there's a lot of the leagues. So I know if Sam yeah. can do it, most of these motherfuckers can do it too. Yeah, a, a lot of leagues. Well, I don't want to say a lot of leagues, but like there's a handful of leagues that they don't they don't post their scores right away. At least, at least not Sunday night, but they'll be up by like Monday morning or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but, but like I mean, at the end of the day, like we look at this pod and it's getting done for the culture. Like mm-hmm. we're we're spreading the culture here. So if you want your league to get more shine mm-hmm. on this podcast. Get your shit out there because that's yeah. the only way you're gonna get talked about is if we have a score for your team, right? Yeah. So and then also too, like me and DH kind of reach out to teams like, hey, how'd you guys do this week? Like, what was the score? Who'd you play? Oh, yeah, blah 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 work. type shit. So like, there's work on our end as well. Um, we but, pl- we played the Titans. Just yeah. In case you didn't know. <laughs> DH puts ninety nine percent of the work, and I give my point five. Dude, honestly, percent. the fact that he does <laughs> goes through all that shit to get that power ranking hey, done is man. crazy. Definitely. Can't wait to see the punishers in there. One of the last things that qualifies you for these power rankings is you have <laughs> Sorry, to be guys. located in Southern California. <laughs> Richard, do you have something to say, man? No, I think... No. I, I, Let's I mean, talk about the top 25? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Top, top 25, 25 top as of 50. October 11th, 2023. The Sluggles, number one. They lost today, one to nothing. To the Threshers. The, the Threshers. Yep. Next, uh, Platoon in number two. They won today. Uh, the OC Rays of the OCRBL, they have not played because they're waiting to play their championship, to my understanding. Uh, they got a buy or what? Uh, yeah, because the OCRBL is in playoffs. So I they got a buy. I know the OC Charros played the Aventureros, and the <laughs> Aventureros won 3-1. to one. Yeah, so shout out to them for winning. Sounds like it was a good game. Because I know uh, both of those teams, they took uh, their squads to Arizona for last week. So... Some of the guys from I just don't know who like because we don't really know them obviously, um, not personally anyways. And um, so anyways, they they, they kind of combined teams. They went as the Aventureros and they they went out there the Charros and Aventureros. Oh yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of cool. And then to come back and play each other in a semifinal, pretty dope. The OC Rays were at my neck one time on one of the power rankings. Well, as far as what? Um, they posted something about dominating a tournament. Oh, uh, I and see. I, my smart ass likes to comment on everything. You're such an instigator. You're and a huge like, instigator. I was dude. like, you guys realize that it says no tournament play, right? Yeah. And then all their guys were like, oh, where are you ranked? This and Same oh, with the God. walk-ons. The walk-ons fucking hate me, too. I remember that, yeah. But then they deleted all their comments. That was a, that was a thing. <laughs> that was the thing for a little while. Did um, they delete their Instagram, too? Because I haven't seen no. it. No. Or did they block me? Well, maybe you're blocked. <laughs> maybe. You're you're a blockable guy for sure. Um, CBA Tigers, great dudes by the way. Met them out in Arizona. Yeah, they were Dad. cool dudes. They're cool as fuck. Uh, we chopped it up pretty well. They're sitting at number four. The Park Bums from the San Fernando Valley Baseball League at number five. Number five. Let's go. Pacoima Pirates at six from the California Elite. SoCal Royals. Pat the FBL. Yes, sir. There you go. And also of the FBL, the Upland Mets at number eight. Is that did that bump them up the tournament? Or like I, think, yeah. I think it did. Yeah, yeah they I'm were like sure. at 16 okay. for a while. And then some Dodgers team from the SoCal MABL, MSBL? I think they beat or they knocked out Team USA, team in, USA. The, in the playoffs. Really? What? I remember Team Last USA week. was just number one for such a long time. And yeah. then they lost. They didn't, they didn't get to the championship. How many games did they lose in a row? Uh, well, they lost in regular season to the Dodgers, I think. Uh huh. And then I think they lost them in the playoffs too. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I can see that then. Um, cause yeah, we're looking at a bunch of champions right here. Like how I'm looking at it. Uh, number 10, the IE regulators of the did three FBL teams. Damn. Not bad. FBL. FBL. Yeah. FBL. I know it's FBL heavy f- fucking Bush leaguers. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. <laughs> FBL is a like fucking Bush leaguers. There you go. Uh, number 11, the Sun Devils from the SoCal MSBL. And then, uh, number 12, team USA of the SoCal MSBL. Three teams in the top 13. There you go. Not bad. And why Yaki's... Oh, excuse me. At 13, the San Diego Threshers. 
of Sadabble Sunday. Uh, let me see who's next. And why Yaki's is the Aztec League? They so, lost today. They lost today to who? To the Pericos. Who the fuck are the Pericos? They won the medal bat <laughs> championship with full respect. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, they, I, I, they won the medal. They won the medal bat championship and moved up this year. Okay. And I think right now they're like six and one, but okay. I don't know how good. Well, one of my boys plays on the Pericos. Mm-hmm. He was telling me like Durham Bulls have played Del Rio three times in an eight game season. So uh, it's like it's been a mess. Like they already played the Yankees mm-hmm. twice and haven't played the Durham Bulls. Shit like that. Gotcha. Typical. The Aztec League is all is a mess from the sounds of it. Uh, so San Diego Threshers uh, at 13. They won the minor. Yeah. The Naba 18, 18 minor. 18 mm-hmm. yeah. minor. They probably yeah. should be a little higher, no? Or is it because they lost last weekend? I don't know, dude. Uh, let me see. At number 15, the San Fernando Valley Baseball League, El Molino. 16, one Mo rep from Okaba. I want to see them in person. They look like they rake. I like the unis. All black with red. Mm, talk to me, daddy. Get a number five. Uh, for free, Padres of Okaba at 17. The Peloteros, the Long Beach Peloteros of the Maywood League. They won today? Yeah, they played a doubleheader today because they are also playing in the Norwalk League. Oh, really? I just don't know how they did Oh, they played a late game in the Norwalk League. A 5 p.m. game. they played a 5 p.m. Yeah. And their Aztec. And, I mean, mm-hmm. their Maywood game was at 8, 8.30. Yeah. Speaking of, a, there was a night game in the San Fernando Valley Baseball League on a Friday last night. Last week, right? Yeah, yeah last week. The Cañeros uh, and someone else. Yeah. Isotopes. The Isotopes, which was pretty cool. Yeah, they Cañeros played, won. They played at one of the high schools. I don't I don't know what high school. I don't remember. Um, but that's pretty dope, man. It seems like a lot more night games are happening on uh, in the leagues. It would be dope to get one here and there. Um, I mean, where could we do it out here, though? Quakes. Quakes, 66ers. How much do you think they charge to rent out Quakes Stadium? Three grand at least. I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i just throwing out a number. We'll hit up Chode. Chode, talk to us. <laughs> Hi, Chode. Uh, fucking epic, epic teammate. Um, speaking of epic teammates, well, actually, no. They're not epic teammates. EC Royals, we played <laughs> them in the championship. The opposite the, of teammates. Yeah, the opposite of teammates. Uh, at number 19, the EC Royals, Sadabble, Saturday. Saturday. The Diablos TD. Of the uh, Ramirez Baseball League. Oh, uh, that's the homies over there. Fucking uh, Giovanni, Jesse, and uh, Ernesto. Met them at uh, Quakes. Does Ernesto play with the Diablos? I think he does. Um, let me see. They're sitting at 20. And the next one is uh, the SoCal. Mar- not SoCal. Mar- just the Marlins of the SoCal MSBL at 21. 22, the Aventureros of the OCRBL. Do the Marlins, that Marlins have a an IG? Because I was confusing no, them I don't with the so. other OC now. Marlins for the longest, and you know about the other OC Marlins. Oh, the OC. This is not the OC Marlins. Oh. No. No, no, no. Um, let me see. 21, 22 Aventureros. 23, the PCBL regulators. Those guys are pretty solid, for sure. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good. I like I like them. Uh, I think. Fuck, the pitcher's name is Blake. Did they lose yeah. to the CBA Tigers today? I think I saw. They lost to the. By one. Yeah. Right? Was it that? No, they lost to the Cubs. Today? Yeah, I think they played doubleheader, as a matter of fact. Uh, yeah, I know the see. Tigers beat them today, I think. Let me see. That is a PCBL. Where are we at? LA League. <clears throat> okay, who did you want? CBA Tigers. The Regulators lost to the P- to the P- the CBA Tigers, and they also played the Cubs and also lost to the Cubs. So they lost two games today. Yeah, Tigers only played one. To the Cubbies! You remember the Cubbies? I haven't, I haven't said that in a Dude, long time. Dude, all these teams in fucking the thing... Fernando Valley gets sponsored by medical cannabis dispensaries. That's sick as fuck. Who? What? What teams? Sun Rocks. Oh, the Sun Rocks. Yeah. Well, that's that's like the name of the store. The CBA I think. Tigers. They're also yeah, that's true. They're also sponsored Park by Bums. The Park Bums too. I think so. Yeah. There's no a shit. couple, and okay. I'm like, I'm over here fucking getting fake sponsors on our jerseys. <laughs> you make up the sponsorships. Yeah. So, hey, ponle tecate ahí. Yeah. Pon, ponsela ahí. Mira. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm then let me see. picture of my face on the next one. Two more. 24, the PCBL Raptors. They fell off for a little bit. But fall, you know, we know how the fall goes. And then at 25, a team that has not played in a very long time since winning a championship. Pats, LA Angels. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but the, the LA Angels of formerly uh, old Scabble. 
They're they're joining a different league though. This they're joining season. They're joining the Ramirez Baseball League, and okay. I believe they're going to start in the Triple A division. So does that mean they come out of the power rankings? They should, yes. Just like the SoCal Sharks are also probably should be out of the, the power rankings, but where are uh, they playing? They they play in a metal bat league somewhere in um, Azusa. Oh, okay. I think it's the it's the muni- the municipal league over there, which is supposedly it's still competitive, but it's metal bat. Mm-hmm. So, what's one of the prereqs? According to this, uh, wood bat wood bat is not metal bat. So there yeah. you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that that shit's always fun. Power rankings every week. Fun <laughs> comments. Uh, <laughs> the comments are awesome, man. Yeah. I, I mean, there there's shit. been a week here and there that's like the comments Slow. have been weak as fuck, like just dead. And I'm just like, thank God I don't have to keep up with this. But um, I mean, usually. <laughs> Pat, Pat's, Pat's very, uh, very active in the comments. I gotta stop, Mr. Marlins man. You're yeah. very active in the comments. Did you see the comments? I was like, "Fuck the sluggos and their bullshit chant." Oh, like they, yeah, he was saying all yeah. sorts of shit. I'm like, and we were there at the game. Talking Remember about when the fans? The, yeah. yeah, I was like, there were there were it's kids like there was, in the stands. Like, there's dude. no cigarette ladies there. <laughs> that's fucking. Well, like, I was like, whoa, I that's saw, mean. I saw a comment from a guy. Saying fuck the CBA Tigers. Why are they so oh, the bitch ass CBA Tigers? Uh-huh. No disrespect, CBA Tigers. This is not for me. This is a message that <laughs> a comment that I read. Uh-huh. All respect. I know which one. Yeah. <laughs> and the dude was like going in on them, and then they answered, and they it was it was they get intense, man. Those mm-hmm. Valley Boys. They're dogs, man. Those Valley real dogs. Valley Boys. Uh, I I got it. Um. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen Kinnes. Hey man, why are you knocking on my boy Steven, man? <laughs> Make a real team. He's trying to move his team to the SFVPL. Make a real team. That is a real team. They got players and they Bro. play baseball. No, he's trying to move his team to TikTok. All right. Yeah. Oh my. Let's gosh. be real. I'm just kidding. Yeah, they're just letting everybody have it today. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is there no limit on anybody today for you no. guys? Do you no, want us cool. to have a limit? Look, I used to not have a limit, exactly. and now I've limited myself because you know. And now we're here to fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, do you guys have any particular comments you want to address? Um, I'll, I'll I'll start with mine. You know, I went on my personal account. I do it every week, and I made a comment, and then I always pin it. Is it your popcorn? Guy? No, I added a popcorn emoji and praying hands, and um, as my shit goes off, it says, "Hopefully, it's a peaceful Thursday." <laughs> praying hands, popcorn, because I already knew what was about to happen. And then uh, Elite Michoacan liked they liked my uh, my thing and they laughed. And then um, the next guy said Rob twenty two eight one eight. He says I think you jinxed the peaceful Thursday. And then I said it was certainly not my intention. Angel face. <laughs> yeah. And then it went off. And then it went off. <laughs> and then it went off. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna. If you guys want to see listeners, you want to see who it is. No, it is what it is. We've yeah. said, we've dealt with these comments already, yeah. but it, it's is wild, wild stuff. But yeah, there was some some t- CBA Tigers trash talk. Uh, there was some Pirates talk. Let me see. Uh, the Pirates are pretty active in the comments. I just think it's funny. Like, Definitely some sluggo, the- some sluggos trash talk. Then you got this dude here, Aaron Gator. Shout out to Gators. Uh, people arguing over Sunday League baseball power rankings. I mean, what team is he on? Uh, let's see if I can't figure this out. Let me see. Stock his Instagram. Oh yeah, about the Latina in me is about to. Followed by South Coast ABL. Oh, there you go. God, who cares? <laughs> True. Yeah, some guy, somebody who fucking cares. Somebody was called a Jersey collector. <laughs> Um, I'm a jersey collector for sure. Uh, again, I, oh, that guy, I think it was the guy that tore into the CBA Tigers. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Felipe. He, uh, matter of fact, Felipe plays uh, in the uh, fuck, what is it? The Masa Davinados League, yeah, that league, Liga Mexicana del Pacifico. There you go, big Venados guy right here. Yeah, that's where the wife's from. Hey, my cartel's bigger hey, than no, your cartel. If you guys, if you guys can ever go to Mexicali to one of these games. There is quality baseball played out there. Mexicali, like like in the professional yeah, leagues? Yeah, for that professional. Oh, okay. even, no, like even like these like butchered-ass Sunday leagues over there, uh-huh. they have some good ball. Oh, yeah, for sure, because they all come from over here, dude. They're all they're all going to play for the cartels, and they gamble. 
bro, they what get are, paid. What are the chances of us going out to Mexico to go play with a Sunday League team just for a, had, just for one Sunday? Like take uh, one of our teams out there, or, something? What, no, yeah. just, or we can just make a trip when we, we were just go when we were the squad. When we were the Rockies, I had it all set up to go play in Ensenada. Uh-huh. And that'd be sick. Guys just lagged out, and we didn't go. But I've, I know that guy, teams have gone uh-huh. out and played like in Ensenada. I don't want to get shot for somebody for robbing somebody of a base hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Good. getting kidnapped for sure. Yeah. That's all I know. All right. Well, no, with your beard, you might pull through. Look at this wet right over here. I'm kidding. That's me. No, Sorry. like my mom's side of the family is white. I'm just dark because my dad's dark. Oh, okay. So yeah, like, my mom's my mom's side of the family is like all like light skin, green eyes and shit. I'm like, like Canelo mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, like Canelo <laughs> shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, the comments go look at them. It gets violent. Everybody's uh, but then everybody's happy at the end of the day, especially yeah. me because I just I just laugh at. Yeah, well, we have stuff. content. Yeah, dude. I mean, it's always it's always good to have something. And guys, uh, if you guys if, you, if you're really gonna question the power rankings, just go to the front page and read what it says on there, how to get on there. That should be a disclaimer. Don't get mad. And then go to the back page and look at the formula. Thank yeah. you. Have a nice day. Yeah, go ahead and plug all those numbers in. <laughs> yeah, start figuring that one out. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. DH uh, is the mastermind. The Fontana Marlins clock cracked the top 50 what are you for 49 sir oh you made it thank you a whole 49 jesus thank Christ. you pat we're gonna be moving up this week too because we got another big win nine to zero <laughs> fucking forfeit Not for, my fault. forfeit ass uh let me see so Marlon's getting hot power rankings done yeah yeah done all right uh let me see league rundowns well, who the fuck should we talk about pick a league Let's go. PCBL? Yeah. PCBL. All right. Uh, Let me see. Somebody's playing on Saturday night next week. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Majors division, October 15th. That is today. The Bengals. Who the fuck are the (laughs) Bengals? Beat the Rats 5-1. Ooh. Rats, I want my hats. (laughs) They know what I'm talking about. Regulators went up against the CBA Tigers. They lost 7-6 to the Tigers. We talked about that one already. The Copenhagen's... Uh, they win 11 to 1 over the Venice Pumas. The Academia Quakes played the Raptors. They win 8 to 5. Regulators lose again to the Cubs in their second game of the day. The Venice Pumas played a doubleheader. Yeah, so that was their second game against the Copenhagen's again, 12 to 5 for the Pumas. So they split. Um, and then the last game of the evening, they played at 7 o'clock at night at what I call the YouTube baseball field, which is the Glendale Sports Complex. That is a nice field. But it's also the YouTube baseball field. Think about it. Because like, of your boy? Just a lot of YouTubers are there often. Zone 22. Zone 22 there. is there. But they're not YouTubers. They're actually doing, oh, yeah, they're they're doing, doing like, the damn thing. Yeah. They're doing work work. Um, Cubs and Platoon. The Cubbies played the Platoon. They were looking to uh, beat Platoon. Today... <clears throat> Uh, platoon wins five to four on a walk off. It's got the last the last details like about five minutes ago. Oh, they ran fun. late, dude. You play a seven o'clock game, night game. Shit, I'm, that's, that's what I'm telling that's you. Dope. These these night games are starting to get a little bit more popular. Fuck For night sure. games, first of all. I can't see the goddamn ball at night. <laughs> like if a dude's throwing eighty, I'm not going to see yeah. it. It looks like ninety. When, it looks like ninety nine. When I was playing little league in Pomona, <laughs> all our games were at night. Oh, all of them. Yeah, of course. There you go. Go talking about little league again. Oh your glory days. I'm fucking with you. It's kind of like it's kind of like when the, the Dodgers talk, Dodger fans talk about the Dodgers. See, there you Same go. Same shit. The Dodgers again. Hey man, just said hey, ba- nobody talking about the Dodgers. Just wanted to balance the scales. We only talk about pony here. Oh, sorry, bro. Mm. Little league is now. Speaking of pony, um, <laughs> the, the pitcher for the Mets today, right? His older brother plays on the Mets also, and they call him Horse. Mm. Well, I faced Pony today. <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. So not horse, but Pony. Pony. Okay. Yeah. Pony boy. <laughs> pony boy. <laughs> pony boy got the dub. He did. Oh, shit. He yeah. did. He Good g- point. Gave up eight runs to the Gators. It's very hard to do. But oh, it's funny. Yeah. Funny game, funny game. So there you go. There's your PCBL rundown <laughs> with a little bit of Mets talk. Uh, who's, give me another league. Who's the next one? Uh, let's go Ramirez League. Are they... Oh fuck, Ramirez League! I cannot think of. They're in playoffs. Yeah, they are in playoffs. I've seen them. They're in playoffs. Um, Jesus Christ! I don't think that their stuff is posted right away. Um, what an interesting Ramirez Baseball League dot GoDaddy sites dot com menu schedule scores. Excuse me. We have nothing. Let me see the 
Today is game number 14, the G Braves, Cerveceros. I got nothing. Diablos, TD, and the Dirtbags. I got nothing. Okay. Yeah, well. there's no scores. There's no scores today. But there was um, a lot of playoff buys. Blue Crew and the Owls, the Toros, the P- the Pasadena Primos, the Titans, the Bravos, Los Chairs, and the Pericos. We have one score. Moon Knights versus Charros. <laughs> Moon Knights win on a forfeit 9-0. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so we'll check in next week on those scores. We'll check in next week. Yeah, man. Um, Should we talk FPL? Everybody's favorite. Bush League FPL, huh? See what I did there. FBL as I click my way towards there. Brew crew with a buy nine to nothing. Uh Indians hammered heads. That's Mason versus Matt. Champs. Upland Mets greats. Upland Mets tournament greats. Up hammered heads win five to four. Upland Mets went up, up against my gay tours. Upland Mets win twenty to eight. It's tough. Tough look for a washed up Sunday league podcaster. Did I say I got intentionally walked? I just want to. I think so. Just want to remind everybody. Okay, <laughs> sounds good to me. So Cal Royals play the IE Regulators. Pat, what's the score? Uh, the Royals won twelve to four. Twelve to four, very accurate. The California Reds also won twelve to four against the Sun Devils. <clears throat> Fontana Marlins played against Titans. Fontana Marlins with a score. 9-0. Nine, 9-0. Zero. Nine On zero. a forfeit. On a forfeit. Damn it. Thank you, Titans. And then uh, Tropics went up against Capulin. Tropics win 9-5. to five. Uh, Let me see real quick for the other. Damn, I got nothing on the uh, the rest of the league. Because sometimes AAA kind of interests me because some of those teams should be moving up. Yeah, yeah, Dirty Birds don't have a score. And birds, they didn't post anything. They didn't they oh, really post when they win. Oh, and they played. Who did they play? The Raw Dogs? Raw Dogs were like 9, nine and, and two. 2. Ooh, are they tied? I'm willing to bet that the Raw Dogs won this game. Like Ask somebody, man. There was something that I did miss in the PCBL because my boy. No, it says IE Dirty Birds dub, but it doesn't have a score. Okay, well. Maybe the score was reversed. I just want to sh- a quick shout out to to my boy Nick of the LA Crooks. They lost. I'm working on your vlog still. I'm sorry. I apologize. Venice Mariners also lost nine to four. My guys. Um, my other guys, the Drillers won eleven to three against the LA Ironbirds. Is that the same Ironbirds that are a new scabble? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I don't. Th- I don't think so. They might just be another team. Yeah. But- uh, let me see. And then the Hitman beat the California Quake 76. There you go. I love jumping around, guys. I'm so sorry. But it also doesn't bother me because I'm here I'm trying to do the thing. Um, give me another league. So dabble. Oh, fuck. For real. That's one of the ones that. Uh, That's a big one. I know that the San Diego Threshers beat. The number one ranked sluggos. The number one ranked sluggos. There's going to be a whole mess of shit. Dude, that's the power about... rankings are about to shift, bro, next week. Uh, it's going to be crazy. And if they don't shift, then I don't know what the fuck. I don't nothing, Jon Snow. You guys watch Game of Thrones? You guys Game of Thrones fans? Absolutely. No. I love Game no? of Thrones. Richard, I don't no? watch TV, bro. He only watches, what's it called again? Bluey? <laughs> Bluey, yeah, right. <laughs> There's a team called the Wide Awakes in this league. Jesus Christ. Uh, let me see. Next level. Did the next level win? I think the next level. Oh, fuck. Dude, this fucking website. I swear to God. What was today? The 15th? <clears throat> no score. They went up against... Oh, wait. Yeah, next level. The Threshers beat beat the next level because the Threshers had a double header. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so they beat them. And then the Sluggos and Threshers. Threshers also beat the Sluggos 1-0 in 10. Uh, let me see. I think the walk-ons won. Whoever they played. The fuck they play. Sorry. Whoever the walk-ons played, they won. Uh, there's a team called the Boneheads. That's cool. Walk-ons played the San Diego Pirates. Okay, they won. EC Royals, they probably... Ooh, they went up against the SD Aztecs. They're in 25 double A. Why are we playing a 25 team in a championship in Naba? like to bring it back to Napa. We know. Because <laughs> we're, we're champions. Where's your coin? 
Oh, I left it downstairs as a matter of fact. Thank God. I got to send the wife a text message, protect the coin at all costs. David, he left it downstairs. <laughs> there you go. Um, so there you go. There's your San Diego Adult Baseball League rundown. It's very terrible of me. Uh, any other leagues? Maywood. <clears throat> Maywood is in their playoffs. I do have their scores. Bravo's lost to the Peloteros 8-3. to three. <clears throat> No, sir. Was it? Was it? Keep up. Keep up because the Peloteros <laughs> went up against the Bravos. That's what I just said. No, you didn't. Yeah, I said Bravos lost to the Peloteros eight to three. Seven to four. Keep I was up. close. Keep up. And the Mariachis <laughs> went up against the Jovenazos. Mariachis win seven to two. Championship series best of three. Ooh. Game one Sunday, October twenty second at eight thirty AM. Mariachis versus Peloteros. Mariachis eight and five. Peloteros undefeated at thirteen and zero. Oof. That's gonna be a tough matchup for the Mariachis. Shots. Bet shots. Shots? You too. Why? We're betting all kinds of shots. More. I need to stop betting, dude. I need, I need to see these I mean, I'm down. open bets P- through. Pick your team, dude, and I'll just take the other one. Oh. I'm an underdog guy. I'll take the... You got the mariachis? I got the mariachis. <laughs> okay. Yeah, why not? All right. Like How about them peloteros? Sweet. Sweet. Just kidding. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up, man. I'm just saying. 13-0 is 13-0. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... I got nothing for New Scabble. There was New Scabble opened up today, opening day. Yeah, that was interesting. What, what were the scores of that? Oh, I got a, a lot to got a, tw- a lot and a lot to a little. <sighs> there was a game. I don't know who played. It was like twenty five to twenty three or something. It was like the that. Brew Crew and the Bombers, I think. Jesus Christ, some shit like that. Uh, um, wait, is this Scabble baseball or Scabble black baseball. football? New Scabble, <laughs> black baseball. Oh, it's flag football, bro. South, oh, no, that's only South Coast Adult here. Baseball League, fellas. <laughs> Let me see. So, okay. So, what was those two teams? Brew Crew and who? If I remember Bombers? Speaking, it was Brew Crew and Bombers. I can look at Okay. It I know that Downey Outlaws played. I'm not I'm not sure who won. Um, SoCal Punishers beat. Who did they play? Who did the Punishers play? Richard. To make it a storm. A T ball team. <laughs> to make it this door What was the score to that game? 24, 24 to, three. to 3. Fuck. In the favor They're of coming. the Punishers. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, 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 fuck. I don't know the website to this league if there's a website. Bro, 28 to 23. That's ridiculous, bro. That's pretty bad. That's, that's, tw- that's more than 28 bad. 28 to 25 bomb squad over the IE Bomb crew. squad. Huh. Where's that IE Brew Crew from? Obviously the IE, but I think they're from like the Paris area. Is Paris IE? I I don't think so. Paris is an IE, dude. I don't think so. Ain't no way. What would you consider it then? That's River. That's Riverside that's County. Riverside County. So that's part of the Inland Empire. Man, fucking Blythe <laughs> is in Riverside County, dude. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you are that's, right. That's sir. true. <laughs> is Blythe is IE? Know. And San Bernardino no. County goes through Arizona, to Arizona. Borders it right, yeah. at, but like at another point. Yeah, we live in the biggest county in the yeah. world. Yeah, as I take a nice drink of my uh, <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody over here. Um, as far as New Scabble, I don't have any other scores. Were they pitching underhand? This feels like a softball score. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Richard! Twenty-eight to twenty-five, bro. I know. We'll see how that league unfolds, but. Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully it gets a little bit more competitive. San Fernando Valley baseball. I'm not gonna be allowed back on the podcast, man. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You're gonna put me in a mess, sir. It's okay. Uh, San Fernando Valley baseball league. They had a full schedule today. Once I pull it up, we'll be able to talk about it. There's a team that I follow <laughs> from one of the Cañeros. The Cañeros, yeah. They look like a solid-ass team. They look pretty good, man. As of this week, October 8th, let me see. The Hokies were at the top, 6-0. and We're going to do a standings check for this one. Hokies at the top at 6-0. and Cañeros, 6-1. and Park Bums, 5-1. and Defending champs. The, the Mustangs, 4-1. and El Molino, 3-1-1. and Toros, 4-2. and Rays, 4-2. and Isotopes, 4-3. and La Villita, my guys, 3-2. and Where's my jerseys? Call me, but the, but bombers. <laughs> um, that's funny. They're also three and three. Brewers one and four. La Victoria, La Victoria. I know. 
One, four, and one. Last one. The other one in five, Diablos, one in five. And two teams at 0 and 6, Brew Crew and Originales. That's the thing about those names, huh? The Brew Crew. <laughs> you throwing jabs, man. You throwing jabs. No, no, no jabs. No, nah, no. Nah, no jabs. Not this week? No, I got to respect them. <laughs> yeah. I feel you, man. I mean, uh, I, I know that Vita won. I know the Park Bums won. Who else won? That's about it. Off the top of my head, that's all I got. Cañeros, I think the Cañeros won also. Shout out to them. Um, as far as leagues, that's all I got. That's all I got. I got nothing else. I can't think at the moment. You guys are far too cute and distracting. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely. You know what else is distracting, guys? What's that? SOS. SOS. Let's go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, shit. It's really not too, too heavy this week, if I'm being completely honest. But did you guys participate this week? No. Why the fuck Because I participated not? last week and I was ignored. That's fair. That's very, I, I mean, I can't argue with that, sir. Do you want to say what you said? Just Marlins over the Brew Crew. I okay. mean, not over the Brew Crew, over the Royals. <laughs> I'm thinking about next week. That's good. You should always think ahead. Don't live in the past. Like but Pat last, week, yeah. last week did say Marlins over the Royals. Yeah, because you guys won. Yeah. We already forgot about that. So You good. forgot about that. It's all good. You worry about the Brew Crew, all right? I am Jesus95, <laughs> says Hammer. Hi, Chewy. <laughs> what up, Chewy? Uh, he's a wall at third base, by the way. Dude, he's, fellow wall, he, fellow wall. He's, he's a short kid, like a short guy, like stocky, uh-huh. and he just gets to everything. Dude, and he make he gets some contact, and I'm like, how the fuck did Chewy hit that? <laughs> Gamer's going to game. Gamer's going to ball. Yep. Hammerheads are playing in the kickoff tournament next year in the OC. Hell yeah. That's the Irvine. One. Get it done, boys. Get it done. Get it done. Maybe we'll see you there. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We shall see. I'm telling you guys, you guys made that culture for tournaments. Now all these teams want it. <laughs> Good. Well, <laughs> we were given a little push, you could say. Yeah. Thank you, David. Next one is from Julio. Pat's teammate. B- BFF. You guys BFF? Are you guys yeah, he's yeah. a good buddy of mine. Okay. Uh, he says, more mic'd up games. Hell okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. Boski's cool. over here too cool. busy playing. Working on that. Yeah. FBL playoffs. Let's go. Let's make oh. it happen. <laughs> I will try. Or I don't have to fucking work like a, like a dumbass. Uh, next one is from another Royal, Daniel De Five <laughs> De Santiago. He says Royals in repeat mode, and then he put the the like infinite, infinity emoji, and then the X and a trophy. Oof. Infinite trophies. Man, that's that's bad omens there. I don't know. We look, we look pretty good today, bro. I, I'm yeah. kind of stoked for our lineup right now. Okay. Do you, do you listen to bars? No, no free ads. <laughs> Bar who? Yeah, it's those guys. There's a podcast on there where the guy always fucking has his teams in the playoffs, and he always pre-celebrates before he gets to the championship, and they mm. choke. Yeah, that's usually what happens. But the Mets? Is it the Mets? No, they're Philadelphia teams. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't listen too much of them anymore. I'm no. not promising anything, but. Yeah, I'm excited for FBL playoffs, so I'll just say that. Nice. Gompa Hector, he uh, plays with the SC Cardinals. Says, SC Cardinals are winning the Scabble. <laughs> hey, man. Cool. Please. Get please it done, win boys. it. Get it done. Please win it. Dad Bats. Last one is from Dad Bats. He says, shout out to all you fucking Bush Leaguers. Keep pushing the awesome content, fellas, for the culture. Hell, yeah. For I the love culture. Lupe, dude. Lupe was double fisting drinks yesterday like a motherfucker. Happy birthday to Dad Bats, by the Happy way. Happy birthday, Dad Bats. I left your jersey with Boski just in case he tries to keep it. Yeah, I, I do have it. I have it right here. I'm wearing it. I'm going to sleep in it. <laughs> yeah, he said he's going to sleep in it. and It's like a moo moo. I'm going to sleep in wow. it. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, good. Oh my God. it's a perfect fit for sleeping. <laughs> That's me. Does that mean? And he's going to sleep I don't take it under back. it. Uh, I'm gonna rub my balls on it, <laughs> on the on the dad part. No, do your thing, boy. <laughs> I'm go not gonna do that. That's fucking weird. Go buy a dad bat. <laughs> get yourself a fucking dad bat. You like wood? Get some dad bats. Like uh, Hit him up with any idea you got on a custom, and he'll make it. Yeah, he mm-hmm. does a good job. He does a real good job. He does. Uh, that's it for uh, for SOS. Uh, I'm owed a couple of SOS. Some motherfuckers uh, were like, "Hey, when's SOS?" Uh, send it. I didn't get anything, unfortunately. 
Um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Got a couple of requests here. <clears throat> I wanted to ask you guys about the mic'd ups that have been posted on YouTube lately. Shout out Spencer from the LA Crooks. You guys like it or not? That's cool. Um, it's a had, three. It's a three parter. I've only put out two. We had one of our boys at the beginning get mic'd up, Carlos. Carlos, yeah. And he's the most awkward guy. So I could see him trying so hard to, to talk, and he would be like, uh, and just say random shit. But love Carlos. Yeah. Big piece to our team. Hopefully, we can get some more mic'd ups, like like my boy Julio said. Mm-hmm. You have to Definitely. pick wisely on who you pick. Yeah, I think you yeah. got to pick a character for sure. Because if it sounds forced, it's gonna tell. it's gonna be weird. You, can yeah. tell. you, you gotta you gotta get a, a character mm-hmm. on the mic, you know. Yeah, do you, do you guys like the current one, Spencer from the LA Crooks? Oh yeah, that was a good one. That was a good okay. one. He's got yeah. one more. He's got one more. They uh kind of goes into their uh, their championship like like one like they got the final out and it goes into their ce- little celebration. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So yeah. But, Subscribe yeah. to the YouTube. Yeah, you can only catch it on the YouTube. I will not be putting on the stories because I don't fucking feel like it. That's too much work for me. I can go barely vlogs. <laughs> go vlogs. Go vlogs. That's what... I gotta get the vlog. out. I'm gonna get the vlog out before I, I put out that last one. So. That's what Pat calls him. Go yeah, vlogs. that was go Stino's vlogs. idea, by the way. But was it? Yeah, go vlogs. Fuck you, Stino. <laughs> Stino hit a bomb foul today. Hit the weights. Hit it to the pull up bars. Uh, let me see. I also have here written down Little Black Book. Okay, I have Little Black Book right here. Oh, yeah, you said you had a shout out. I have a shout out for uh, Chris. He reached out and just said, you know, thank you guys for what you guys are doing. Uh, it really uh, basically just benefits the culture and stuff. I don't remember off the top of my head, but he plays in the Chicago MSBL in the 42 plus division. That's oh. sick. That's yeah, so, so shout out, shout out to them. I didn't get the, the, the team that, uh, that he plays for. Unfortunately, and then uh, the other one, my other shout out. Let me pull it up real quick. Uh, the not the Baldwin Park Mar- Marineros, which yeah, shout out, as a matter of fact, shout out to the BP Marineros, Baldwin Park Marineros. They tag us in all their shit. Um, sure, they're a metal bat team, but you know, I don't care. They're for the culture. For the culture. How long do you guys think you're gonna play? So right now, he says forty-two MSBL. That's like, do you think you have mm-hmm. a, a cap? Boski's retired like six times, so I was done at thirty five. Here here we are. Here we are. I'm dealing with the same what fucking injury. Thinking? I don't know. We'll see when I have my kid and you know Yeah, I, I, we, change, we were talking about that in the group chat the other day, right? Mm-hmm. And I, I think my answer was No, my sister asked me this morning too. She's like, Do you have a game? This was before our game got forfeited. I was like, Yeah, we play at twelve. She's like, Oh, well that kinda ruins your Sunday. I was like, Not really, that makes my Sunday. What the fuck? Perspective, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um She's like, when do you think you'll be done playing? I was like, honestly, I still got a couple years in me. Like, for me, it'll be like when my daughters do something competitively and I see that they actually care about it, then I can move on. <laughs> this fucking car just hauling ass outside. Dude, I thought it You're was fine. like, I thought it was your phone. I was like, what is he watching? Oh, no, no, no. And I was just like, whenever I see them doing something competitive that I have to dedicate my time to, then I'll be done. Right. Like, we see some old guys, like, in in the Aztec League on the Pacific Tires team, there was an old man. His name's Tomas. I think he's probably, like, 60, dude. And he's still out there trying to pitch every Sunday. That's pretty dope, though. Yeah. You said for the Pacific Tires? Yeah. I think I faced that dude before, like, way back when. Probably. Maybe yeah. when he threw, like, 90. He throws, like, 45 now. Yeah. Does, does he throw from down here, like, yeah. from he, underneath? He, he, did they used to call him Valle? No. No, but then there was also this guy that always had a fucking his phone clipped onto his baseball pants. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it was it was clipped onto his belt. I was like, this motherfucker is a cheat taking a business call in the middle of a game. Yeah, I mean sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Yeah, dude, there's a team called the Motor Boaters in the Aztec League. Okay, so shout out to the Montaneros. They're currently four and two in uh, the Aztec League in the uh, A West, A West division. So shout out to them. You know, they reached out and they're like, hey, uh, can we get a shout out? Goddamn right and get a shout out. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, you do play in the Aztec League. Um, but hey, <laughs> it's fucked up, right? Coming from, from the host, I guess. Uh, I think I think at the end of the day, like, for example, this is one of my favorite things about the Aztec League. I mean, not the Aztec League, the Fontana League, that almost every team has a IG. 
Mm-hmm. So everybody and everybody's active. Yeah. So it makes the league even more fun. You know, there's shit talking, mm-hmm. there's banter. We see the scores right away. The only way to keep your teams relevant is to get them out there. Yeah, Aztec true. League, do a better thing, mm-hmm. do a better job. I know the NY Yankees made an Instagram, but they're not very active. No. There's a couple teams that have, but they're, they're, they don't get active. It just takes posting your score or posting mm-hmm. your game that's coming up so that not, guy, people know. Um, so that so that you guys can get more relevance. I know buddies that are like, oh, well, you're boys with Boski. That's why the font, that's why you guys are in, in the rankings. I'm like, no. We, God, no. We, no. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> Boski has nothing to do with the rankings. And not only that, but... We're active, you know. It feels up to me. I'd keep your sorry ass out of the power <laughs> ring so you can shut the fuck up for what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dude. I'm just, just fucking understand. Around. If I'm not in the power rankings, I'll talk more shit. Even more reason. Right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, for sure. I like. I mean, I like it when you guys are all talking shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just like like you guys say the for just, the culture, just for like the culture. Just don't get butthurt about where you're at yeah. in the power rankings. Like it's. Just win. It's just all, fucking win and you'll climb up the ranks. It's all explained in the yeah. pages. Yeah. Yeah, it really is, man. It really is. Like, there's always the same every week, same questions. How how do we this? How do we that? Just why is this team here? Why are we not here? Well, you're probably like five and five like us. Yeah, I've gotten that one before. Like like, well, our team could be could beat this and this and this team. And then like turns out they're a metal bat team. Like, man, come on, dude. Like, really? Like what are we doing? Yeah. yeah, it's like if your metal bat team is really that good, you know, and better then, than wood bat they, teams. And then they get beat, and they never have all their guys. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> it's happened to you. <laughs> I had to. We, sorry, we've all so. been. We've all been. We've all been there, man. It happens. You know, today the uh, the Gators had all their players. <laughs> we got smoked. Mets had nobody. We got smoked. Hey, you put up eight runs. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> At least we tried. <clears throat> Um, I wanted to throw uh, some team names at you guys for uh, this league that we kind of don't um, talk about very often. It's hardly at all. I talked about it once. Um, the Los Angeles Baseball Federation. Damn. That's yeah. official. Okay. That's official. Yes. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams on there. Team number one, the Bandits. Kind of a typical team name, right? Um, next one is the the date palms only fans. That's original. Okay. Yeah, world renowned organization. <laughs> Roll palms, bitch. That's their Instagram. So, uh, date palms only fans is their Instagram. And then the bandits was uh the bandits underscore L A B F. <clears throat> the next one is L A B F underscore the death. They're called the death. The death. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> check out their shit. L A B F underscore jerseys. death. You want to see their jerseys? Yeah, once I see jerseys, I can... Death. They're just a bunch of emos. Death. That's kind of cool. That's not bad. Uh, Let me see. Oh, how do they do this? Death. Dude, I kind of want to get into this league a little bit more, like, moving down the road, because they seem like they're just, like... Having fun. Like, we just want to fuck around. It's a pretty solid squad pick, too. Yeah, definitely. Uh, The Naturals. Uh, Sliders underscore LABF, so the Sliders. Uh, all right. The visitors underscore LABF. Mm. Yeah. That is better. The Yips. I like that one. The Yips. They, uh, let me see. That's not a bad jersey, I guess. You can't really tell there, but it's so so. Okay. The Yips. Shout out to the Yips. Shout okay. out to the Yips. Kind of like the Brewers. I hate the Yips. The cream color. <laughs> you guys ever had the Yips? Yes. Oh. I've had I've had it before. Damn. Pitching or hitting? Or just in general? Throwing from the outfield. Yeah. Pit. I think probably most common yeah, pitching. pitching. Pitching for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's one of those days. Huh? Definitely. And then the last one, uh, Satchel, the Satchels. Satchels uh, Baseball Club. The Satchels, new team in the LA Baseball Federation, named after the legendary Negro League pitcher Satchel Page. Respect. Okay. Mm-hmm. And their shit kind of looks like OG Diamondbacks. That's That's cool. Not bad. Satchels, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, irony of the picture, it's a white guy. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> it's all good. I mean, it's a fact. It's there. You know, I said nothing disrespectful about anyone, anytime, anywhere. Um, let me see. 
as far as uh, my little black book. And that, uh, that's all I got. The floor is open, fellas. Before we wrap this up, you guys got anything that you want to say at all for these fucking Bush Leaguers before we wrap it up? And uh, I have to go to work in four hours. Six nice. hours. Sorry. Same. Same, bro. Just thanks for having me back on, guys. It's always a blast. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, boys, just keep grinding. Keep having fun. Keep making it fun. Don't go out there trying to fight everyone. Don't go out there. <laughs> Says the fucking keyboard warrior over here. <laughs> I'm, I'm a warrior everywhere, bro. I'll talk my shit, but at the end of the day, bro, it's Sunday league. Like, you know? All it takes to beat you is a trunk full of trees. Yeah, bees. Full of bees. Stupid. Can I rewind my joke? Nah, Damn it. It didn't hit, bro. Dumbass. No, I didn't hit. I'm but, dumb. um, no, um, just. Keep, keep making it for the culture, boys. Post your pictures. Post your videos. Post your bombs. Post your strikeouts. Thanks. And like I said. How about you don't strike out? Stop striking out, everybody. I meant pictures, bro. Striking out sucks. How about against them poo slingers? <laughs> I, I want to get that shirt, dude. What shirt? I'm going to put out pulse, a, pulse, a poo <laughs> slingers shirt soon. Yeah. It's dope. You, you guys will like it when it comes out. I'll probably out. just give yeah. you the one that I have. Yeah, I mean, I'll take that shit. I'll sport it. <laughs> I only have one thing to say to close this shit out. Close it out, Pat. Brew crew, good luck, boys. Oh shit, that's all I gotta say. They got yeah, they got a big job. They got a big job to do. Mm. We'll see you in the playoffs. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Wait, you'll see who in the playoffs? We'll see the brew crew in the playoffs, and I'll oh, see you on the if JV the field. Indians lose out. I'll see you on the JV field next season <laughs> on your AAA. FBL Patty, talk, everybody. Patty, Patty, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's all I got to say. But other than that, I agree with Marlins, man. It's all for the culture, guys. Um, appreciate all the listeners and everything like that. And, you know, Sunday League Baseball, it's a grind, but, you know, it's yeah. something we all love to do. So definitely, man. Keep it pushing. Yeah, for me, man, Sunday League Baseball is part of the, root, the routine, you know. It's a goddamn privilege and honor to have a routine. For those people that don't have a routine, I'm pretty sure they wish they had one. Bro, it's just like we grew up with this shit. Never in our lives did we think we were going to keep playing at this age for Hell fun. Hell no. I don't even no. know what the Sunday Leagues were, man. No. no. I remember I got out of high school and my dad's buddy was like, hey, we need one on a Sunday. And I was like, mm. softball? I don't play softball. Mm-hmm. And then Same. I went out, bro. And oh, God. Was, fucking well, softball. Jesus well, Christ. And the ironic shit. First team I played on in mm-hmm. Sunday Leagues was the Angels. Sucker. <laughs> fucking hated that shit. With the titty mess jerseys. Love that titty mesh. I'm a titty huge, mesh. I'm a huge titty mesh guy. That's yeah. like the OG like uh, MLB pullovers, like with the V-necks. oh yeah. yeah, the OG ones like oh, okay, nah. yeah. And I was like fucking angels, yeah. but no. Um, and here we are, like 14 years later, running a team and yeah, having to sacrifice my week for you, motherfucker. Yeah. Imagine getting all sad, like fucking hate you guys, <laughs> <laughs> bro. If, you were to, if if someone was gonna tell me. I was going to be playing in the Fontana <laughs> Baseball League fucking 12, 13 years ago. Well, you Tell him to fucking kick rocks, bro. <laughs> you know, but it's the best, dude. It, it really, really is. You're thinking you're going to go pro. They're like, nah, you're going to be in the Fontana Baseball League. <laughs> like, damn. Yeah, there, all right. There's a lot of talent, man. There's a lot of talent. Oh, there is. There is. There's there a lot is. of talent in all the leagues. San Fernando Valley, Maywood, Aztec League, PCPL, Ramirez League, New Scabble, Old Scabble. Um, I'm fucking, who the fuck am I missing? The uh, CBA the Elite. So dabble, don't duh. forget to don't dabble. Don't forget to dabble. I'm gonna get David shot. Will be on your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna get shot. But I mean, all the way up the coast, down the coast, you know, Arizona. There's good baseball. Fucking Nevada. There's good baseball. You go all the way to Florida and New York. It's huge, dude. So the culture is there. It's yeah. just you know our job here is to shed light on that motherfucker and, and entertain. You know, and just 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 do it for the goddamn culture because at the end of the day, like. As far as baseball is concerned, man, this is all I got left. Yeah, it's all I fucking got left, you know. And th- for me, it's kind of over when I decide it's over. Like I know I've it's been over like six different times, but hey, man, sometimes just get that itch. Gators, that's brought, right. Gators you know? brought the hope back. <laughs> that fucking, you know, it, it's just funny because like, like, like I come and go sometimes, and it's just it's it's nice being able to still be in the trenches with the boys. Bro, and it's funny because we'll complain all week. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. This hurts. Don't tell me. You wake up Sunday morning like, oh, my wife's like, didn't something hurt? No, what the fuck? No, what the fuck? Yeah, but it's all better now. Yeah, Yeah. I feel good today. (laughs) I feel good. I'm going to go try this out. Yeah. No, it's funny. All week, I I really couldn't walk at work all week. Like, I had a a hard time. And, And 
it's like, fuck, am I going to be able to play on Sunday? Because I told him, like, I'm going to finish out the season just for, you know, giving me the favor of it. And now your season's over. And now the season's over just like that, man. Yeah. Yeah, but it's funny because, like, we were, we were cl- close in some games. We flipped three of those games and we're in the playoffs as well, yeah. you know. But that's baseball. Yeah, baseball's a fucking – that's what I was telling Pat. Like, we lost to some bad teams and we tied with teams like the Tropics and beat them. Mm-hmm. So that's how that just shows you that – on any given day, if your team shows up, you can beat anyone. Exactly. Exactly. But for some teams, they got to play more perfect baseball than others. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know. It all comes down to consistency. If, you, if you're if you able to build a culture on your team and have yeah. guys that show up every single week for you and, you know, everyone understands their role and their assignment, these are the teams that, you know, are going to end up winning at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So. More times than not. Yeah, definitely. Definitely build a team culture, you know, with your squads. And for all you guys listening, you know, build a, a good solid culture with your squads out there. Um, I've been on several teams, million teams with no culture. Mm-hmm. Oh, the set, these teams always struggle, yeah. man. It's and, a circus, bro. And it's funny, bro, because a lot of these teams that start up, they think they're going to win the championship the first season they play. Never. And they don't, they don't realize, like, we've been building these teams from playing in – Single A metal bat, yeah. Oh yeah. god, yeah. yeah. Single A metal bat, fucking so, struggling against yeah. these old ass men. Yeah, yeah. Cutting these, cutting these bad links, adding these good links. You know, it's not a matter of night, night to day. You're gonna be. It's a process, a great bro. Team. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Like I said, I started coaching my, my managing my first team. I was 20 years old. I think I aged like 30 years in the last 12. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah. As no, well. like it started like as a family team, you know, mm-hmm. and then I went back to playing, and I was like, "Fuck this! I can't play for other people. Yeah. I like to manage." Yeah, and having that power. I know what you mean. And then I started the California Rockies, which now are the Fontana Marlins, mm-hmm. uh, in twenty thirteen. That's how long the Marlins have been a team. Yeah, damn, bro. It's and wild. it's just been Respect. adding, adding, and, and subtracting guys. Like right now, my core has been together like from twenty nineteen. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Though. Yeah, nice. Like my core five, five, six guys have been together from 2019, and that's when we won medal bat championship in, in Aztec, and we've always had a good team, dude. And honestly, just play with your play with your buddies because that's how you're gonna have fun. Yeah, play play with the homies. Yeah, and not like Felipe, not like Felipe and the City Fighters that played for fun and then they got it done but then they they wouldn't move up divisions mm-hmm. but love to see fighter content i think they were they knew what they were going for oh for sure yeah they were going for content and they, they ended up running into a championship in content yeah which is sick as fuck fuck yeah i, I had fun covering that one that one yeah. I, I was invested i was like all right like they're probably they're more than likely gonna win this shit yeah i gotta cover it you know and it's got my meds hat that was a that was a super like yeah. I actually hit him up and asked yeah. him because I wanted a Z Fighters hat. That, that hat was sick. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. He's like, bro, I ordered this many. They were gone already. I was like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, dude. I, I didn't get one either, bro. <laughs> I'm still stuck with my Mets hat, yeah. which was, again, like I was trying to say, like, that was a foreshadow to it. Like, I was in the, in the vlog. I was like, man, I look good in a Mets hat. I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> it all came around full circle, bro. Never forget that. <laughs> I always know exactly what I'm doing, fellas. <laughs> yeah. Looking at you, Marlins, man. Yeah. Oh, is that why you threw on this Marlins jersey and that Marlins hat today? Yes. I threw it on because it was, I brought it was it nice. Because I'm a jersey collector, bro. Yeah. I'm still trying to get the infi- I'm trying to get the Infinity Gauntlet. The, the uh, Mets? No, no, no. Think about leagues. I'm trying to get the Bums. I'm trying to get... Uh, Royals. Platoon. Royals. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get Platoon. Uh, I'm trying to get Royals. That's on the way. Um, who are the other... Threshers. I'm down. Uh, yeah, Threshers. Uh, I need a Pirates. Uh, fuck. Who else? I'm, miss- I'm missing somebody. The Yaki's. No, there's. Yeah, Yaki's one. Um, Team USA. And then uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Team USA. You can just look on them. And then <laughs> for for the Ramir- <laughs> yeah, for the Ramirez League, the Diablos definitely need the Team USA. And I don't know what else, man. You know, know who has some sick ones? Who's El South. They're yes, like, they're they're like the yes. two button ones, uh-huh. but they're pretty clean. Yeah, they're they're, they're all nice. And, I, and I'm just a huge jersey whore, bro. I got I got the Mets already. Fucking. And the other team that I thought was sick was that that Elite Michoacan. 
with the old with the with the Mariners um, City Connect. Yes, but it says me truck. Those guys. are sexy that too. That shit looks pretty sick too. Yeah, my the my Vita mariachis, uh, peloteros, fucking dude. I have a list. Yeah, I'm not gonna. You know. I haven't seen the peloteros, but I'm pretty sure it's dope. Um, it looks kind of uh, kind of like pirates. Long but Beach, the black Long Beach State ish, uh, I guess because they use the LB from Long Beach State. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, but I think their shit, it's a, uh, it's like the pirates, and, but it's like Battle Tales and stuff. Oh, okay. Something like that. I, I could be wrong. Please correct me. I know they're listening. So, but anyways, yeah. Um, kind of went on a uniform rant there. Big Jersey whore. We never, hook, you guys never hook, made the bracket. Hook us up. What bracket? The Jersey bracket. Oh, that was a former host of this show's job to do. That wasn't DH? I thought DH said he was going to make a jersey bracket. That was Fitz. Why Originally, it was Fitz. his name, bro? Because, man, it's part of the story, bro. I haven't even taken the sticker off. Nosebleed Baseball. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Nosebleed Baseball. No longer in existence. Clever name, unfortunately. Clever logo. Clever logo, yeah. Fortunately, never uh, made it all the way through. But, yeah, with that being said, fellas, uh, appreciate you guys' time, you know, as always. Anytime, brother. Yeah. Go buy a shirt or something. Show, show your support. Link's in the description down below. I'm pointing down like like everybody can see. <laughs> uh, that's my drunk ass talking. Anyways, um, Richard, did you have your umpire fees today? Always, bro. Not today, sir. <laughs> no, I had them ready to go. They were my baseball pants. Fair, fair, fair. Pat! Do you have your own? Yeah, of course. Bro. Pat strikes me as actually. Kind of... I paid two other guys on par fees. Oh, that's always, but fun. not yours. <laughs> I paid mine too. Fifteen, Damn. fifteen bucks. That's always Damn, fun. fifteen bucks. Yeah. Jesus Christ! That's what happens when you're the guy recruiting those. What's guys? fifteen divided no. by? Was fifteen bucks <laughs> divided by three guys, Pat? Do it. No, Do it. I did it. I did it last time, Richard. You promised. No, I, you promised I the promise? last time you could do it. I'm too Mexican to do it. Oh my God. Boski, take, take it away. You got the voice, brother. Five bucks! There you go. I have to, like, scream off and wake up my child on the other side of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fellas. Well, appreciate you guys' time. All you fucking bush leaders, thank you for listening. We'll catch you guys on episode 172. Peace. See ya. Peace.